pretty good. Yeah, I'm 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 ripping my character directly from the audiobook version of Vetinari from like um Vetinari. From specifically going postal. <laughs> I am Hobbit Robin Hood. Uh yeah, we'll go over and introduce oh, yeah. each character. Introductions, I see. Um, but before that, um, just to come. My laptop's things. already chugging, dude. We were oh, no. space. <laughs> no, <laughs> the game hasn't even unpaused yet. That's part of the fun, now. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the part of the fun to see whether I burned um, out my in place. <laughs> uh. Make sure you all keep track of your abilities and such. Um, I will not be keeping track of them for you because I have a million other things to look at. Okay, um, what? am I going to be babying this whole? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that being said, I don't believe any of you have played. So you can ask questions. Now I can just now I can just hear you on Benny's mic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can't hear you on your mic anymore. Weird, that's whack. What? Oh. There you go. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Nerd. I said a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. But a bird, bird, bird. Damn, what the heck? What is going on in here? Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. Can you hear? Through my microphone. It's like cutting in and out, kind of. I didn't even know. Okay, now we can hear you. You can? Yes. But now I'll it's going to be an echo. I won't be. <laughs> oh, pop. Uh, Papisito. Yes. I don't know if you heard, but Yippee. keep track of your own stuff. Oh, uh, be prepared to level up soon. DM. Um, and remember how this is going to work. Uh, some of you will have to choose a subclass in this next level, so you're going to have to join back into the campaign. <laughs> it's it's a big rigmarole. Sorry about that. Um, but you'll join back into the campaign, make the changes you want, and then you're going to have to leave again. Wait, what? <laughs> just so those spots are available for other people. Okay. Oh wait, but we already did this, right? We're chilling. Uh, okay. Well, uh, some of you will have to choose a subclass, which is some can be only found in certain books. Oh, uh, okay. So if you have to choose a subclass or something like that, join what if back. Sub uh, what if it's um? If it's just player handbook, you're fine. So, Kevin, I think you're good. Uh oh! It says no subclass for me. So I think I'm good too. Uh, third level. Or how do I go up? A little? Uh, in your D and D Beyond, uh, yeah, yeah. in the class, in the edit, like, region, go to class, and then you can go to level three. Yeah. And but you can also just see what the future level ups will be at the very bottom. Okay. All right, I just get Oath of Devotion. I think we're chilling. Wait, we're level two, you're right? We're level yes. two, yeah, but this yeah, is... Just making sure. So if I go back to level two, it should get rid of this, right? Um, Oath of Devotion isn't... It's Oath 6 of Devotion PM is for me. It's class. not even that late, Nick. What do you mean? So you will have to join. <laughs> okay, so I'll just... We stay level two for now, though, so... Okay. Yes. Oop. 
Yer. Yer. Okay, now we're going to go around in a circle. <clears throat> Everyone gets to introduce their characters. Wow. Are you going to do background uh, music, wow. Logan, or do you... I will. Okay, sweet. You can mute the bot That's fine. if you do not <laughs> want <laughs> some music. That's fine. I'll just turn it way down. Oh, I, I want it. I want it, boy. Get hype, get hype. Fucking D&D is back, boys. D&D not, baby. Uh, there it is. And Adam can't bully us this time. No, let's go. Or he can't, he, or he can bully us more. I don't know. I don't know if this is better or worse, actually, now that I think about it. Me too. Now he's in there with you. Before, anyway. <laughs> No, I just I just enjoy blaming you for everything that goes wrong. Oh, oh, I need to make it public. Oh yeah, new emote has been added, boys. <laughs> new new fantastic emote. Uh, somewhere. Where is the other? Oh, oh, wait, never mind. It has not been added. Public. Do that again. Oh, here we go. It's Chubbly, except it's really glitchy and bad, so I'm going to have to figure out something better. But well, there we go. <laughs> List, true, YouTube, true, input. Uh... There we go. There we go. Cool. All right. Who would like to go first? Here we hold on. <laughs> Hello. The Halloween okay, basement. This is better. Bobby, you need a you need a splash R <laughs> and then your. Well, we got Halloween nice. in the background. It <laughs> look nice. Yeah. Who'd like to go Come first? Bobby liked it. The character. <laughs> I'll go first. Oh, Benny first. Okay. Benny first, eh? Oh, hey, yeah. Benny first. If you're not a bugbear, I'm throwing hands. <laughs> <laughs> Benny the bugbear. Right. It's not a valid command. Oh. Um, my name is Cementin Smickery. <laughs> I am a human wizard. Um, I have a very sharp and pointy face with uh, black hair. I think you guys can see my uh, token. Maybe? I, I don't really know how this works. No, we can't uh, see how, that. Yeah, how foundry works. Um, you would know that I am Maybe. a um, necromancer wizard. Um, oh yeah, I, I could just and plug while this because it's cat alcohol, baby. Let's go. You know, a man has to make ends meet, and I do like power. So I've wow. probably been traveling with. If we've been a party for a bit, I've probably been traveling with the party for. You know, at least a, a month or two. I don't know. That's part of the fun. There I am. <laughs> that evil looking guy. That's me. <laughs> evil Knievel Sneevel. Uh, yeah, y'all should boy. see. Evil Knievel. In there. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I don't believe so. Unless there's any specific backstory or anything. Specific backstory or anything. That Little facts they might know. Oh yeah, I mean at this point you guys probably know my whole family was murdered oh, in a uh, horrible death cult. Uh, Smenton does not seem to be disturbed by the fact, and he doesn't seem to really care about sharing it. Well, you're a necromancer, right? Bro? Okay. I don't see why. Just bring <laughs> him back. I can't yeah, wait just to bring him back. This guy seems like a great travel partner who I could trust my life to. I can't yeah. wait to travel with him. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> You would also know, along with his passion for learning about necromancy, he's very interested in studying um, death rituals oh, around the world, like burials, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Totally normal stuff. Totally, totally normal, normal cool stuff. guy stuff. Normal yeah, cool guy yeah. stuff. Definitely, right. definitely not keeping him around just so just so that we're friends when he doesn't when he eventually <laughs> loses. <laughs> yeah, when, he, when he eventually loses interest. Thank you, Smitten. Uh, who next? Logan, what actually brought the party together in the first place? That is more or less up to you guys. Um, we didn't really you, get a book. So, 
We, we can, I gave you a hook. Um, I can read it off again to remind you. That'd be great if you can. So, you are a party of adventurers. Uh, you've known each other for however long. You are level two, though. Um, what brought you together, how long you've known each other is completely up to you. But you are familiar with one another. Um, try to get on friendly terms with one another. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, okay. Um, and you recently took up a posting to escort a caravan of supplies from Daggerford to a nearby village mm -hmm. about a week's travel away. Mm -hmm. uh, the fire initially, ca initially caught your eye uh, on the town's posting board as the pay was more than double the typical rate. Uh, on the flyer itself, um, just gave the details of escorting a wagon uh, and a meetup location outside the city gates an hour before uh, sunrise. And having a lull in your itinerary, you all decided to meet at the designated location and uh, take up the offer. Uh, the night prior to this, your dreams were all filled with strange visions. You had seen a series of scenes unfold. I Each of you know. can actually I'll recall it to universe. a very <laughs> uncanny vividness. And though each of you have slightly different renditions of what happened, you each remember, in common, an elderly woman and a castle illuminated by flashes of lightning. Mm. Okay. Cool. Heck yeah. yeah this, is probably, this is probably the first dream. Smenton has had in like years. Oh, damn. I, thought, I thought you were gonna say, yeah, no, he was probably unperturbed by those. <laughs> oh, he was, he was unper unperturbed. Oh my god. But it was Even also though, what could go wrong? Um, um, but yes, yeah, so you, you guys are like all established as a party. Um, you aren't like randomly meeting together. Uh, yeah. This is just like, oh, this looks like a fun job to do. Uh, we have the time, get us some money, you know. All right. Heck yeah. Uh, yes. Who next? I guess I will go next. Uh, I can go. Or, oh, um, you got to come right. to or, oh, My right. name is Killian Appledale. Um, I, I'm a halfling. Uh, I grew up in a small village named Fay Hollow. I really, um. Have a have a deep sense of what is good and what and what is right and what is wrong, and I try to live by those principles. I have a friend who I'm looking for. He's a wizard. Um, he taught me a bit of magic that I can't use this session, but um, I'll learn how to eventually. And yeah, I really? got into a bit of trouble in my look in my town because i stole money from this corrupt town lord and was giving it to the poor and then uh -huh. he caught me and drove me drove me out of town uh-huh uh-huh hey kevin lies yeah. how many complaints do you think i have to play with you before you pick a character that doesn't have the word kill in their name in some form for their <laughs> <laughs> have i well, you had an alias last time, technically, I guess. Oh, oh no, we got one DM. We got one DM this time. That's just left over from the last that. time he DM. It's subconscious. <laughs> All right. But uh, Logan's our only DM. All right, thank you. Join. Killing Appleville. <laughs> I just went to a um, ha Hobbit name generator online. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. I could. I, I had a smell in. Roll for insight. Feeling. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, one. Other three. Sheesh. <laughs> All right. We're playing, with hmm? We're playing with feats, right? Yeah. So fuck our right. feats. Yep. Uh, well, at level four, you'll have access to either a ability score improvement or a feat. Hmm. Right. Um, oh, humans as well have the ability yeah. to get a it's feat very... right off the bat. All right. Um, and feats are basically just like little. The, uh, little bonuses to abilities and give you like n nice little boosts okay. to actions and such. Uh, but yes. Bobby. Uh, moving on. 
Bobby, Harrison, Adam. Uh, Bobby's pronouns are AK-47. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I had eagle screech. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess I'll go I'm next. There you go. <laughs> so, my name is uh, Saint Xavier. Uh, I am but a humble priest who is working in the city, feeding the poor. But my soup was so good that I got accused of black magic. And through a medieval mm. game of banana phone <laughs> over time, those rumors have banana completely phone. gotten out of hand. So people think I like make the craziest black magic soup because there's no way just a bunch of cabbage and meat can taste so much better than how anyone else makes it, you know, right? But anyways, <laughs> I'm trying to spread my good name by going around cooking good soup and showing people that I just am good at making soup. And I'm not good at black magic, but uh, it's been harder than I thought to convince people that I'm not a witch. Not gonna be, not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, I yeah. thought all I'd have to do is cook some soup in front of them, but <laughs> somehow that doesn't work very well. <laughs> Thank you, Xavier. I You're think okay. Smenton really likes you. I think I think Smenton's <laughs> been like trying to get your soup. <laughs> he joined this entire cog quest because he heard yeah, Saint Xavier was here. Yeah, that's, that was why he joined the party. He the heard secret this, recipe. Like, black magic chef who can cook <laughs> necromancy soups. Oh yeah, you think I I'm actually have some special powers yesterday. that you could steal from me? But I'm just actually mm -hmm. just good. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's so good. All right, Bobby, Adam. So I am. Allison. I um I'm a portal artificer and uh essentially what I do is just kinda fix stuff. So oh my, my, my first kind of fixing was on a ship. I spent a little bit as a shipwright, um, sailing the open sea until I uh, may or may not have lost that boat. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Um, Whoopsie. At that point, when I came back, I set up a little workshop, did some more commission work, and eventually got commissioned by some weirdo to uh, fix a temple on the island. Um, and ever since then, I've kind of just found myself uh, flung into completely exactly. <laughs> random situations. Um, often by magical means that I don't really have control over. And uh, someone will just tell me to fix something there with the varying degrees of glamour and uh, instruction. So is he a turtle? Sometimes it's just a matter of, of repairing some countertops. And sometimes it's a matter of um, killing some goblins. And so I was kind of... I, I was thrown into a tavern the party was at at one point, and uh, the dude sitting at the table across from me pointed at the um, pointed at the man with the weird soup cauldron, and said, "There you go, that's your job," and left. And so I've kind of just been following the party around ever since. Mm -hmm. All right, very lovely. Oh yeah, dog. Uh, thank you, Payosin. Mm -hmm. Last, not least, Bobby. What's Bobby last? I am Titan, the half orc. I served in the war as a general when I was young, <laughs> fought many battles, made many friends, lost many lives. Oh, At wait, this what? point, I am getting. On in years, since the life expectancy of an orc is very low, and half orc is not much higher. At this point, I'm just looking for some fun. I'm looking for fun adventure and to see some battle before I go. Because at this point, I got like one foot in the grave, and I just want to have a good time, make one some new friends. In the grave, you say. <laughs> my friend have you been preparing your burial rites it's very oh they've already been done i've spoken to many a lawyer mm. and my burial rites have already been prepared 
at this point Excellent. I just want to have a good yeah. adventure and just have but a good time. Have you thought about what's going to happen protect my friends. in the afterlife? According to my faith, <laughs> I'm going to go join the horde in the afterlife. Uh -huh. And I'll be able, when our day comes, I'll be able to fight alongside my brethren in the Horde. Oh, so I gotta be like every saint through history and just completely oh, invalidate other people's religion. <laughs> does your religion have a hell? No, it doesn't. Think so. Uh, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, Nick. Sleep well. Have a good All night, right. bro. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate party. it. I'm sorry. I, so I know it's too late for you guys. I'll try to do an earlier does one. Maybe I can have a hell. I should probably do one. <laughs> All right, well, no, no, tomorrow. We'll see. I we'll got see exactly tomorrow. what you needed. <laughs> uh, so here we are. Our party. Before we fully get into it, I, I would like to make available this town does have a shop. Ooh. If there's any supplies you would like to get before the adventure... You may do so now. Uh, how much money do we have? You have your starting gold, uh, uh, which for most of everyone should be 10 GP. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't have any default. Well, you have 10 gold. Yeah, you can't remember your honestly. I believe uh, everyone should have 10 except for Killian. But I'm a saint. Shouldn't I have more money than that? <laughs> now you give your money out. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I having, convert it all into soup. In. I convert it all into soup. Uh, but yes. Uh, Why are I'm there using... coins in the soup? That's flavor. Not that I'm, not that I'm complaining. It just Well, actually, in you some know. cultures, you can add... There's like these metal things you can add to your soup to add iron to it. Oh. To heat it up. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Oh. See, oh. Xavier is a very, he, he loves Jillian lightly pushes the soup exploring. away from him. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Lead is a terrible way to die. <laughs> Quite painful. Yeah, hey, right. you just gotta As use the right coin. telling me. <laughs> uh, I posted a link in the notes channel uh, that will direct you that'll direct you to a general store. Uh, these are the items story. you can expect to find, uh, and their associated GP value. Cheese, just all cheese, <laughs> bro. I'm already 96 pounds in armor, bro. bro. I, I don't need more cheese. Uh, okay, let's see what this looks like. A barrel, a sack. The general store. Uh, it looks like it's actually missing some stuff. You know, yeah, if there's anything... You guys, we could buy one set of fancy clothes. <laughs> Yo! One set? Think of all the uses. Alright, boys. Yeah, I think I'm probably good. Billion, Killian was um... like, I have everything I need. I... I, I really can't imagine what else I would buy. Plus, this money's not really mine, so <laughs> I don't really I want to use it. I prefer to use what I got. Alright. Uh, one second. I don't like buying stuff unless I need to. I need to check my inventory again. I'm getting distracted. Oop. Uh, my veterans' compensation isn't exactly a lot. What was that pack that I got that included? What did that include? Did this give me like the adventurers pack or whatever I equipped, Logan? Uh, yes, you have your adventurers pack. Uh, what was in that? Uh, I mean, look at your character sheet. Go into your inventory. Adventurers stuff. Purpose. You should have, like, rope and stuff, I believe. No, uh, no, I don't. For some reason. Oh, weird. Uh, maybe I forgot to equip it, dang. <laughs> well, uh, you can look into that later. Well, I just wanted to know what I needed to buy and what I did. <laughs> uh, you should be fine. Okay. 
What about my soup? I don't know if I have a big pot or not. Yeah, I'll let you start with one soup. Well, let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. We're all ready? Yep. I believe You're... so. All right. I would like to, if I may, to take you on a strange journey. Our tale begins outside the gates of Daggerford, a smaller, walled settlement along the Sword Coast. Most consider this town to be a stopover, and the city has been long envious of its more renowned neighbor of Waterdeep. But that is irrelevant to our here and now. Outside these walls, we find our party members. We have Killian, Paosin, Saint Xavier, Sventon, and Titan. <laughs> Huddled together, waiting in the damp streets. A trickling of light, barely visible between the dark clouds and a pendulous fog. Your minds are all still abuzz from the odd dreams you had last night. Snapping back into your senses, you all hear the trotting of a horse and the squealing of wheels as a large caravan comes into view. The driver pulls the horse to a stop, and you are greeted with two figures. The first to get off, a dwarven man, wrapped tightly in many layers of clothing. He looks up at you each, before giving you a warm smile. I suppose you are the party of adventurers who will be accompanying us. That would be us! It Sounds like right so. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Albrecht Ironson, and I'll be your driver for this journey. I'll then go around and give each of you a firm handshake. Oh, yeah. does one of those things where he like grab, grabs with the second hand as well. Roll for dexterity <laughs> if you're going to mess up the handshake or not. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of driving experience? Yeah, give me a skill check on handshakes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm definitely like wiping check? my hand on my shirt after that. Would you say you that's know? a oh Would you God. say that's a strength check? Strength check. Um, firmly <laughs> grasp it. <laughs> um, nah, nah, nah. Uh, around from the other side of the carriage, you see a taller gentleman dressed in a very nice jacket, the sword at its hilt. Mm. And this here is Aragal, servant to the master of. Burg server to the Burger Master of Laki. The Burger Master? The Burger Master. Oh my god. That's more or less like a mayor. Dang. The Burger Meister Meister Burger. I thought we were going to meet the real Burger King. <laughs> uh, the taller man then turns to you all. <laughs> With all due respect, I'm fully capable of introducing myself. Uh, he then bows to you. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Thank you for joining us at such an early hour. Seems Thank you, Mr. Yeah. in return. <laughs> uh, now, I won't want to keep my master waiting. Uh, mind if we head out soon? Can I see the payment first, please? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, he then pulls out a pretty generous coin pouch. Mm. I'd like to count every individual coin. Oh my god! Uh, uh, you can do that on the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> the Burgomaster is a very generous man. You can see we are very well accounted for. Yeah, are there any coins missing? Are they all there? I mean, you count them up and... Uh, what's... How many? There's five of you. Give me a math check. <laughs> St. Xavier That's is good a... at math. He knows how to make a bunch of soup for a certain amount of people. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like there's about um, 150 gold in there. Mm. Adequate. Adequate. <laughs> Adequate. <laughs> so what all can you uh, can you tell us about the area? I mean, why are you feeling the need for an escort? Well... I'm sure you've heard the rumors. Uh, trails have gotten quite dangerous. Mm. Uh, the driver will then butt in. Hey, there are about five caravans going out the other day. Only two came back. One we saw mold. 
Don't know what oh got to him. They got mauled. One of the caravans were. They got like, struck by moles. moles. Dude, yeah, that's... mold is no They're good. Yeah, the that mold. spoils the you're soup. You're telling me these. The, you're telling me someone attacked your sandwich cart burger, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't it's actually how fun that. when the sandwich <laughs> gets mold no, on them. They're no longer tasty. <laughs> I think I think Killian is thinking to himself, he's like, what an odd people. I'm so worried about mold. And they call themselves burgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the city has been in dire need of supplies, and we would all be very thankful if we could get that there soon. But neither of you two have ever run into any issues out here, huh? I can't say that I have. What, you know? <laughs> they seem to be pretty cautious considering they're paying twice the amount. <laughs> so, you never know. Paying well to make sure it's in good hands. And seeing that there are five of you, I'm sure we are. We have more than enough people. What's our destination? Lucky. 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 Ah, hate Milwaukee. Fucking. <laughs> I much prefer Gladstone. <laughs> <laughs> About a week's travel north. All right. Do we get in the caravan with you, or do we walk alongside? Uh, yes, there's plenty of room in the cart. I am an old man. <laughs> he then gestures you all inside. Uh, the driver helps anybody, like, into the caravan. I put a little, like, uh, little cloth in between me and the seat, you know? Like, I, I lay it down, <laughs> oh like, my God. and I, like, sit down, and I, like, cross my legs. I'll I, in. I sit on the floor rather than on the seat. I just sit on the floor <laughs> because there's not quite enough room. Killian kicks his legs because <laughs> um, he because they don't touch the ground. <laughs> Say Xavier just sits like a normal person, <laughs> but still yeah. thinking about soup. Yeah, exactly. He's thinking what we're having for dinner mm, later. <laughs> soup. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the driver looks back to you all. Last chance. Y'all ready? We're ready as we can be. I'm ready for anything. What kind of food do uh, we have with us? I literally have nothing to lose. <laughs> uh, that, and with that is very uh, sad. <laughs> he cracks the reins, and y'all begin wheeling out the gates of Daggerford. The lights of the city being slowly engulfed by a cloud of mist. Wow. You all carry on through the night. A good amount of time passes as you travel through this like heavily wooded path. Uh, the deeper you go in, the fog seems to grow like thicker and thicker as the journey goes by. It's hard to see much out of the sides besides like the occasional passing tree. Um, But you're all mostly left to your own devices, as all you can really hear is the wheeling of the wagon. Is anybody else getting... Um, every time we get into a wagon, I get <laughs> I get super uneasy because of how many times we've been ambushing wagons. Oh yeah, I know, it's bad. <laughs> I was expecting an immediate attack on our way. <laughs> immediate attack. Yeah. Well, it says it's not. I'm going to go use that thing because I really have to do it. Mm. <laughs> um... Yes, What's the worst? Or actually, Harrison goes to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> Two hundred and seventy-nine views on you the hear Aragorn call Let's go, cry baby. out. Four subscribers. Oh. oh my god! The caravan hey. is then brought to like an abrupt halt. Uh, you're all I kind like... of like you sway forward as the whole caravan comes to like a Whoa. standstill. Ah. There's something in the road. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, the taller gentleman gets out. Uh, everyone, just wait here. 
I've got it. I'd like to get out to help him. I would also like to get out to help him. Killian has no idea uh, what's going on. Kevin I'm getting out, but I'm is not having flashbacks. <laughs> Before I, you're able to... Benny, you're just stretching your legs and walking the other way, huh? <laughs> Killian is going to look for mushrooms. <laughs> Before any of you are able to get out, you hear like a piercing howl to your left side. Fucking... Yeah, your feet are like halfway out. Um, when you're like brought back to the front... And you see Aragal disappear in front of you. Oh. That's not a good. A large figure jumps out, and you're barely able to catch a glimpse of this large, hulking figure. Uh-oh. Uh, you hear an abrupt scream as the horse jumps up and begins riding. Uh, oh, like away? <laughs> away with all of you. Oh, you're going to oh, launch backwards in your seats. And you begin charging forward. Okay. Immediately, I would like to I... start to clamber up to the front, since I have proficiency in vehicles. I would like to try to get a hold of this horse. <laughs> this vehicle. As horse. you're climbing yeah, up, I hand you a knife and go kill it. <laughs> I have my yeah. world weapons, boy. Look, this large yeah. figure in sight. Like, is there even a silhouette it's in there? The large figure, like, knocked Aragel back and, like, further into the mist. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're all racing forward as the horse has been spooked by whatever this thing is. Um, the driver all yells back to you, I can't control him! As you're, like, racing forward. Uh, if you would like, you can make a animal check, or... Oh yeah, I'm yeah. Uh, oh, really I believe funny. Bobby wanted to was going ahead. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. The other option, guys, so we just put the horses down. <laughs> Animal handling. That's just with Animal handling check. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Unfortunately, I think the horse is a little too crazed for that. Damn. As it speeds even faster, and you feel the wagon like toss back and forth as it's like wailing against these trees you look out ahead of you and you can't see anything as the mist is just like too thick um finally after like a whole minute of wailing against trees you hear the whole tip or you feel the whole wagon tip to the side as a wheel springs off, you all begin to barrel forward as the wagon then careens into a tree. The driver goes flying out the wig, the window. Uh, um, anybody who's not in their seats, could you make me a deck save? Uh, deck save, you said? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How serious did you take my joke about being looking for mushrooms? <laughs> However serious you intended. I did not intend it very seriously. <laughs> that would leave me like behind everybody because I wouldn't even been on the wagon. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we left you. Like, let anyone else get out. So. Oh, true. Unless you're just really not feeling your character anymore. <laughs> just immediately. Yeah. And you know what? I want Bowie back. <laughs> Bowie appears from the mists. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, He's got a gun. <laughs> Two guns. Yeah, the yeah. save was 14. So I'm sorry, yeah. Titan. Uh, uh, actually, that's you're a barbarian. You get advantage. Oh fuck! I get advantage. Oh, you get advantage on deck saves. Oh well. Uh, you as well fly out. It's fair. Uh, as you 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 were in front of like right next to the uh, driver as well. Uh, so you're 
Your feet were quite unbalanced as you also fly forward. Uh, you take four damage as you slam into the tree right in front of you. <laughs> Ow. Uh, yeah, you are all just hovering from this. Uh, you hear... What's his name? You hear Albrecht uh, groggily getting up, rubbing his head. Oh, what happened? We crashed. Oh, no, no. Aren't y'all supposed to help with this or something? You I said you had the one who was driving. driving. I tried getting out before you. You were too quick. I even tried to I help. frankly have no idea what's going on. What the hell are we supposed to do? <laughs> Where's Aragal? Any of you see him? Oh no, he uh... He disappeared. Are oh, we real? He is no longer with us. Whatever spooked the horses uh, did not give him a chance to get back in the wagon before they took off. I think it might be safest to assume he might not be with us anymore. Perhaps uh, he went to hell. <laughs> Well, that really depends. Was he a good person? <laughs> I fucking Perhaps hate everyone you. Everyone goes to hell. <laughs> the afterlife has not been proven. <laughs> mm. I think we should all agree. You can that ignore he just went him. Let's... Yeah, as you're Either all way. talking, <laughs> you begin to feel very much unease. ease, um, if you weren't already. I am, as... because of Benny's character. <laughs> as. Fog slowly begins to encroach on you. It's becoming harder and harder to see. Uh, Up ahead, you do see a light. This is not good. <laughs> uh, what was in the wagon, by the way? Was there anything in the wagon? Uh, when you were looking around, there were like provisions, general like kind of what you'd see at a general store. Um, ah. Flasks of oil, uh, maybe some pickaxes. We should uh, probably grab the provisions. A mix of grain. Yeah, let's grab the provisions. Uh, how many flasks of oil? Um, I will roll... What kind of oil? Does it have a high smoke temp? Low smoke temp? Yeah. Well, uh, give me a luck <laughs> check to see how many of them... A luck check? I, I have a bad feeling that uh, some of them may have shattered. Okay. Okay. The water temple Oops. music is giving me a flashback. Uh, you find four flasks of oil. Four whole flasks of oil, baby. They, the packaging was pretty firm. But as you're, like, digging around in uh, the wagon, you feel a large mist begin to overcome you, begin coughing. Mm. Gasping. Oh. oh. Like everyone or just specifically me? Who, whoever is nearest to the wagons. Mm. Uh, I don't know where I am right now. I think that would probably be me. I think I'm in the wagon still. Is there Something any the end wagon, to the mist? <laughs> uh, I mean, all around you seems very heavily clouded. Uh, you do still see that light I mentioned earlier. I think... Killian starts walking towards the light. <laughs> okay, so it's not just me. Unless any of you have a better a idea. cloth over my mouth. <laughs> just just right. a, a bone white handkerchief he pulls from a pocket. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad it's not just me then. It's not my time. Let's go. <laughs> you know, you that talk about dying a lot. We should. Oh, God, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, give me one second. Yeah, you... You see, like, a thinning in the mists, and all walk towards it. Um, you're able to grab, uh, whatever you're able to get your hands on before you begin feeling like you're being choked out by these 
thick clouds. Moving ahead, you see a house come into view. Uh -oh. There is a large barred gate um, around it. It's very, um, it seems very fancy. Fancy? Like it was owned by a wealthy individual. Mm. Um, inside you... Hmm? Sorry, do we still have the coins? Like, were there uh, coins in the cart? Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm definitely grabbing those. But you're gonna divvy them up, right? <laughs> I'll divvy them up, I suppose. <laughs> what was it? Like, 400? Uh, 150. 150. Can I roll perception on What was it, like, 8,000 gold? <laughs> like, 20,000 gold? <laughs> yeah. Can I roll perception on the, the structure? Uh, yes. Persuasion on the structure? Like a block? Yeah, you all come <laughs> Oh, forward. God! <laughs> It's the house from that one movie. It's alive. Monster house? Yeah, monster. Oh, God, bro. Monster house over here. That movie scared me a lot. As a uh, kid, bro. Hey, MacBook hasn't loaded I love yet. Monster house. Okay? I would see that forever. Good I should movie. watch that again. Uh, I, love, I love that one scene where the dude like, I like turns around, around to leave time. and then runs back and eats the chip and leaves again. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was so good, bro. I love when those okay. shitty animations came out. Well, not shitty animations, but you know what I mean. Uh, hey, man, it was good for two. You know, like over what, the hedge eight? and like things like that. Like these oh, kind of like over the oh, over the, the hedge. I love over the hedge. Over the hedge is great uh, too. How do I bring people to the scene? Uh, you did. I'm loading just... in right now. They're, they're you're loading loading in for it, yeah. I think anyone, yeah, no, the fastest computers are loading in, and then the MacBooks are yes. MacBooks, huh? Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, they're <laughs> chugging along. Well, while I'm going to be loading for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to be right back and use the bathroom. Okay. Good luck. Oh, done. Good luck. Good luck. Roll for P check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Roll for accuracy. Your how's, how's your aim, bro? So, hey, hey Smith, mm -hmm. are you going to let. Um, let our suit man know that you have to be dead to be a saint. You have to be dead to what? You don't have to be to dead be to be a, a saint. saint. <laughs> That's just most of them end up being dead. You don't have to. It's, it's very hard to be an alive saint. Fascinating. I haven't no, heard this interpretation be before. Also, it's D and D, bro. <laughs> All right, maybe maybe it's a different type of saint. We don't know. It's just a moniker. Tell me, does your religion have a hell? Yeah, oh, it has no soup. <laughs> That's the hell. Fascinating. I, I write a little note in my book, in my <laughs> spell book. Ah, oh, you are you gonna make donations to the church? I would imagine. Or Kevin and I do not believe in gods. Yeah, okay. No soup for you. <laughs> I believe in gods. Can I have soup? Of course. Thank you. It is not your gods. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to okay. deny an old man soup? <laughs> no. I, can, I give all the poor works. people so, as long as you don't accuse me of black magic like yeah, yeah. everyone else does for some reason that makes soup. Huh? We'll see how Have you go. seen me? I could use some black magic. Okay, I'll give you some vitality soup. <laughs> I have this weird. You must let me have a spoonful. A spoonful. <laughs> what do you mean must? It pulls out a comically <laughs> large spoon. Oh, yeah, yeah. you like... insist. All right. Just a <laughs> spoonful. Just a Get the spoonful. shovel out. Oh, God. Get the shovel out, bro. I mean, kind of yeah. technically a spoon. Kind of. I mean, <laughs> at what point does a spoon become a shovel? Because that nice. one spoon in that TikTok, I could, like, debate being a shovel instead of a spoon. My spoon is too big. <laughs> it doesn't my fit spoon. in Mommy Flurry. Uh, but yes. Uh, you were rolling a perception, Adam. Is that the 12? Yes. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, uh, outside you see a large wrought iron gate uh, with hinges on one side and a lock on the other. Uh, in front of you, uh, past that gate, you see a large, uh, let's see, four story house. You see that there are lights on inside, and it seems like. People may be milling about. Hmm. Can I go knock on the gate? On the gate? On the gate, yeah. I want to see if I can get their attention. Uh, yeah. You should have uh, token control, each of you, right? Yes. So, okay, yeah. so the gate's yeah, right here. Yes. I'm just yes, going to go the... knock on the gate. Uh, yeah, you knock on the gate. It makes a loud clanging as you bang on it. Um, but nothing seems to happen. I'm just going to call out. Hello! We are travelers. Our carriage has been destroyed. Logan, I'm not investigating. Right I'm, not to, I'm not investigating. I would like to... Uh, Keep an eye like behind us, kind mm -hmm. of just around sure away from the house. Yeah, I'll let you do that while the Superman uh, dance around you. But yes, uh, Bobby, you yell this. Um, and again, nothing happens. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> I love Legend of Zelda music. <laughs> Can I do a lock pick check? Go ahead. How do I do that again? In a uh, minute. So it's a dex check, and then I believe you have proficiency, and then the bar or not bardic, uh, rogue proficiency. So I think you have like mm. plus seven. So dex plus seven. Uh, okay. Great. Yeah, dex plus proficiency times two, or proficiency times two plus dex. Why is this different than it was? Wait. There was like a little roll thing earlier, before. Oh. So it's r slash slash r d20 uh, or do not, that every yeah d20 plus your your bonus. Bro, this redditor over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So next, dex plus. How do I see my proficiency? God, I will one day understand how to play D and D. Uh, your your proficiency should be plus in the two, top right? And then I get another plus two for the rogue. Yeah, because you chose uh, in your rogue bonus uh, to double count for lock picking. Oh yeah. What? Hmm? It's saying I can't do it. Wait, R, D20. Slash R. Slash R. D20 space. plus. Oh, slash R. Space. Slash R space D20. D20. And whatever the modifier is. There we are. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You you find that this lock is like very simple. Um, and it just. You basically like put place your tools in there. And the thing flies open. It's like that. It's like that dude on TikTok that hits hits one lock against each other, and yeah, they exactly. Pop open. The lock picking lawyer here. <laughs> um, and then the gate just like opens with a la loud. Oh, my next thing was I wanted to open it quietly, but we take those, <laughs> I guess. Um, good job, boy. <laughs> Kratos, what no, are you I'm, doing I'm, here? I'm, you know I'm 27, right? Or is is this house like obviously abandoned, or does it look like it, it's well, the lights are on? Inside. Seems like okay. people are maybe milling about. You see some figures passing by. Um, oh, we see figures passing by like, I, in the house. Wait here. I'll be. Um, I'll, I'll do. The, I'll go look in a window. I'm gonna go knock on the front door. 
the library. windows are like very um, hard to look through because the like lines are drawn. Um, mm. You you think you see like a fire going on in there, um, and then maybe some shadows passing by. I would like to knock on the door. Yeah, in front of you, you see like a large oaken door with very ornate, uh, intricate carvings in it, uh, and a lo- a very large like knocker in the middle. Knocker. A knocker. I would like to use the knocker to open. No, not open, but knock on the door, see if anybody answers. Yeah, you you give it a loud. <laughs> You wait a few seconds, hearing nothing, when from the other side, you begin hearing footsteps approaching. Oh, fucking Adam knew it. The door opens. Oh, I see. Oh, see another another yeah. loud... Me? So who wants to come with an old man into a haunted house? <laughs> I see no other choices. Um, I'll step up slowly. All right, don't worry, what? I purified Benny, one character? of us, so we should be good. <laughs> it is uh, Smenton. Smenton? Is it Smenton? Isn't this? Then eat your dinner, your buddy. Eye? Eat your dinner. I find oh, interest in these things. But I do not like entertaining them when life is on the line. I prefer living. Yeah, you see uh, Albert behind here. here. Must be one fancy house. Can I use my divine sense to see if I sense evil in this place? Um, what is divine sense do? Uh, I can. The presence of strong evil registers on your senses like a noxious odor and powerful. Good rings like a heavenly music in your ears. As an okay. action, you can open awareness to attack search forces. Yeah, you. You. Yeah, this is your mojo detector. And <laughs> my vibe detector. All right, guys, your let me see if the vibe is off your, in this area. Give me a moment. Step back, step your, back. Your vibe detector goes off, and it is off the charts all around you, not just from the house. Mm hmm. All right, St. Xavier is not vibing in this location, and he says we you, skedaddle, skadoodle you, the you fuck You also sense a slight flickering oh, sorry. of goodness coming from deeper within the house. Ah, so someone seems to be trapped in the house. Someone's in trouble. Someone's in trouble. <laughs> Uh, St. Xavier says, I, I have a bad feeling, guys, about the people in this house, but there seems to be someone good trapped in um, there. So, and let's go help. That's all that's all Killian needs. Come let's on, be man. careful. Where's my right, I'm gonna take a step inside. Yeah, meanwhile, the evil guy is just outside observing. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm we could certainly use the help. Uh, you're welcome to step in. Can't take it. We need all the help I, we yeah, can I get. I lost my character. God damn it. I think they're all piled up on the same corner. <laughs> no, I just uh, zoomed I'm out. I'm wrong. Yeah, there you go. Spenton, so please. Like... We got this. <laughs> so you need... Says I'm colliding with the wall. Well, close the door. Yeah, like, stop opening the door. <laughs> or closing the door. No, oh, it shit's all glitching. <laughs> there you go. Um, there we go. Bottom. Yeah, you should be able to I drag your character in there, right? Yeah, yeah, it works now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you open the door, <laughs> or the door opens. You walk in uh, into like a little entrance hall. Um, from the other side, you see some lights. But you don't seem to see anyone uh, as the floor creaks beneath you. I'm gonna knock on the door again. <laughs> you who? <laughs> Think some blow uh, out? Yeah, this is a large, like, ornate glass door. Uh, some prismatic colors. You're able to actually see through it um, a good bit. I believe. 
Do I see anything? Uh, but with a simple knock, uh, it like begins to open on its own. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> Sorry for the intrusion. We're lost. Bro, I told you the vibes were bad in here. Don't, Don't fucking <laughs> turn the priest into a. <laughs> Why is every one of your characters some variation of a frat bro? I uh, guess it's fun. Yeah, Saint Xavier's not an alcoholic yet, though, so we're fine. Yet. <laughs> bro. We mean you no harm. We're just lost. Release our friend. <laughs> you step even further, uh, and you enter into okay. the main hall. Uh, here you see a nice fireplace uh, with a large sword uh, placed in front. Um, and behind it is a nice like little mural of a windmill. Uh, to the eastern side is a large staircase spiraling upwards. Uh, and then around you, you see a series of doors. So again, no responses. Yeah. Are you we just it. like breaking and entering <laughs> at this point? <laughs> like, why are you... Hey, we're not Adam, I have a question. What did you yeah. have to Google to get that picture? I I AI did. <laughs> Same. Uh, yeah, you remove the sword from its pedestal. Whoa, whoa! Uh, I want to investigate it first. <laughs> oh, you're investigating. It sucks okay. your soul out. <laughs> yo, 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 yo! Uh, demonic what, swords. Uh, what, what are you doing exactly? Like, I'm, are you just like looking at I, it? Are you I, magic um, or something? Craftsmanship, any kind of magical traces, or um, yeah, go for it. Vibes from it, like yeah, give me vibes. Give, give me an arcana work. check. Arcana check. Yeah. I guess you can do a perception. I rolled investigation. I roll arcana. May where do you roll? Oh, Payson, twenty-three. That works. Uh, yeah, you inspect it uh, using your artificer uh, insight. And you detect that this sword is completely non-magical. Uh, you do see a lovely design. And it's hilt uh, mirroring the windmill right above it. Uh, but other than that, it's a plain old longsword. Can I use doesn't my vibe like checker on it before he does anything to see if there's any, there's, there's you know, expensive. demonic <laughs> things or whatever? I mean, it looks like a standard longsword. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll using, it just yeah, it, it. any attempts to, like, see, like, magic or anything, or, like, any evilness within the sword. Um, just normal sword. You okay. don't find anything, oh, yeah. but you do sense an evilness all throughout the house. Um, I'm gonna start listening around. to this door. Um, can I? Uh, go ahead. Make me a perception check as you listen in. Oats. Oh, what is my perception? Oh, it's a plus zero. That's an easy, easy thing to remember. <laughs> I would like I to. Remember. I'm not a. Per I'm not as perceptive yeah, as like, I used to be. Like Kevin did his thing real quick. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah. You listen in. And you don't hear anything coming from this door, but from the door right next to you, you hear like clinking of glasses, some like minor laughter. Um, and like, it sounds like some people are like chatting in there. Hmm. Mm. But I hear nothing from the door I'm at? Uh, no. Okay. I'm going to open the door that I'm at. Slowly. You open it. And it opens into like a dark closet. Oh! Can I search the closet? Oh, this is Sven's kind of place. <laughs> uh, yeah, you search around in there, uh, and it appears to be like a cloak room. Uh, there are many like fancy dresses hanging. Uh, there's like a top hat sitting up top. Oh! Oh! I would like to wear a cloak and a top hat. <laughs> yeah, definitely definitely holds the top hat and he's like it's someone else's but I guess they are evil but this wouldn't even fit I me at all want to put on cloak and top hat. yeah you, you put it on you look quite dapper heck yeah charisma increased <laughs> right not 
Damn, he hates us. Um, God, if you were the nice guy, shit. <laughs> could I do a wisdom check to see if, like, I can tell what type of evil I'm sensing? Like, I don't know if there's like types, like ghostly, demonic evil, or like human evil, like bad people. Um, I believe you'd have to read me the paladin thing, but I believe it specifies. Uh, if you can sense a creature, like within range, that's not obscured. Oh, okay. And you, right. and you do not sense that. Okay, okay. You don't sense any of that. Well, that's, that's probably a good thing. Well, I do have the almost box. It's just empty. Okay. Well, here it is. No fucking way! Hmm? I'm just scrolling Instagram while we while we do this. I'm in. So the Shamrock Run posted a video. I'm in it. Oh, nice. From last year. That's that fucking is. sick. That's dope. That's a marathon thing. Ah. Uh, it's they had like an they had like a um. Uh, like little like question mark block from Mario that at towards the finish line that I hit it with my head. Oh, and nice. that, that's the clip. Yeah. Oh, sick. that's the post. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Um. Did you know in Mario sorry, you he actually saying? hits it with his hand <laughs> and not uh, his head? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so far you found the closet. <laughs> uh, to the north you do hear what sounds like a dining room. Um. So, here's a question about Eve's tools and lock picking. Mm -hmm. Can I lock this door? Um, I mean, probably. Okay. Um, can you do your sense good and evil in into this room? See if these are the good people or the evil people. Yes, I can. I believe that's a closet in front of you, though. Oh, yeah, the other room. Oh, this one. Uh, so you mean the dining room that we're just listening into? Oh, the one over here. Right. I do the sense thing. Since you um, can see on the door in front of me. I mean, nothing really changes. Oh, okay. I can't, like, tell specifically which room that you've yeah. listened from. Oh, okay. It's just, like, all around you. Interesting. Interesting. What? What do you think, gang? What do we do? <laughs> um, I'm down to fall along with that. Want to murder a hobo? <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't even know if they're like. We don't know what we're getting ourselves into so far. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what. I feel like we should. Well, I. We know they're evil, but like. If I could, I'd like to investigate the sword to see if I can learn the make or model what race made it. Yeah, is this um, a 98, 99 Subaru? Just using my time as a war general and my familiarity with weapons. If you want, yeah. Just Bro, can you imagine explaining to the police? <laughs> my <laughs> vibe checker said you know, they you, were evil. You actually believe so. uh, this is an lengthened short sword. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is one big dagger. <laughs> Precisely. Uh, but yeah, you have can some rooms to your north. Sword? You have a room to yourself. You can. I'd like to pick up the sword. You do so. You wield it in front of you. Eye all of its sides. Nothing happens. I'll put that in my inventory. Yeah, go ahead. It's just a. What you, you said it was a great sword, long sword. Long sword. Gotcha. I'm going to hide it under my cloak if I can. <laughs> it's just a dagger so you can hide it in there, fine. <laughs> um, has someone done an insight check or a perception check on what's up the stairs yet? I don't think so. No. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to... 
quietly and stealthily go a bit about halfway up the stairs and then do an insight check or a perception check I uh, that. yeah you can step up to here Sweet. Uh, to there mm-hmm. okay Every time you say here, I think in another okay. game, I have a character named here, and it's throwing me off so hard right now. <laughs> oh, no. Step up uh, to him. Yeah, you walk up. Um, you God, listen in. Who's lagging? And Jeff, you, you don't hear much going on. You see a couple suits of armor on another fireplace. Gotcha. Can I roll perception on the door to the north south below us? Yep. Also trying to kind of listen in. I think we we could kind of see light coming from it before him. Yeah, you were able to make out the general lo- layout of the room. Um, you listen in, and you hear the cracking of a fire and footsteps. Footsteps? Mm-hmm. All right, well, there's someone else in here, folks. Whoa. Hmm. Do you want to go back to acting like we're visitors? This house is occupied. Are we not visitors? What are we trying to get out of this house? Yeah, like, I, I still don't Shelter. understand why we broke into this random house. Shelter. Oh, the, we know The that... fog was, like, choking us. Oh. Uh... It was, like, completely centered around this house. Oh, and we know it's evil. Okay, never mind. We, we, we know what we're doing. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I'd like then. to help. <laughs> um. Wait. 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 Uh... Yeah, you hear people to the south, people to the north. Sounds like people eating up there, uh, and then just like people waltzing around down here. Waltzing around. Okay. All right. Does anyone want to get married? <laughs> I mean, I'm that on my way. one of my abilities. So just, just want to. I quite check like being single. Before we die here. Wait, you said buried or married? Married. I heard buried. Oh. oh, I can also. I have funeral rights as well, so I can. I can handle your funeral rights if you want that. <laughs> do you do work funerals? Uh, not usually, but I'm down. Okay. We'll talk about it. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, we got. <laughs> I don't really have anything that's gonna help with this though. Um... All right. At this point, I'm gonna go. Just I'm gonna go knock on the door. To the north. Yep, I'm gonna knock on it. All uh, right. You knock, and you hear a pause in the talking. Oh no. <laughs> Can I go halfway up the stairs? Before it starts up again. Yeah, I'm also, I also am curious of going halfway up the stairs. I'm just gonna stay here. Before it starts again? What? Fucking, how rude. I close, St. Xavier closes himself in the closet. You what? Where are you? Oh, yeah. I forgot I have to move my character. (laughs) Hey. Oh, yeah, you you should all have uh, global, like, not global vision, but shared vision with all your tokens. Uh... Saying Xavier hides himself in the closet. Uh, what were you two doing? Uh, I'm going upstairs because it seems like those those people clearly don't want to help us. <laughs> ah, oh, sorry, I was all out. So I'm going to. What's up, Logan? Who are you? Definitely go up the stairs. Uh, I am right. Saint Xavier. Um, hey, Paladin. And... I'm Paladin. Uh, I'm not going to explain this it all again right now. <laughs> Sorry. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to do a perception check on this door. Okay. I almost did pay attention. Yeah, you listen oh. in and you hear resonating notes as it sounds like someone's playing a piano. No, not yet. I'll check it later. It, I promise. Do I get a later. vibe of piano? Is it a good, like, <laughs> is. Does it sound like someone evil's playing the piano? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah, da, 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 da. well, it's no uh, How much Phantom of the Opera. To it? It's no Phantom of the Opera, but it's it, it's a very like uh, classical. Do you remember 
uh, we, somewhat we, we somber song. Mm-hmm. In September. Um. And then. I well, I'm also gonna. What's up with the suit of armor? Ah, uh, no, you uh, something you else. I've got, what's your once again? That's that thing you showed me before. You, I'll be down for that. I forgot about they, that. They just look like very nice uh, suits of armor. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, but surrounding both of the doors, you see two armor stands just looking out. Uh, each suit of armor is clutching a spear. Uh, they have a visored helm that's kind of shaped like a right wolf's back. head. Cool. I'll be right back. Uh, on the yeah. mantle uh, to the west side, you see a lovely, like, family portrait. You see a mother, a father, and two smiling children, uh, with the father carrying what looks like a swaddled baby in his arms. Mm-hmm. Looking closer, you see that the mother is a little saddened. Mm. Why is the mom sad? Baby I dead. don't know. Hey, hey, Smitten, does this baby look dead to you? <laughs> Can you describe? Wait, was it, is it just a skeleton? Wait, describe the baby again. It just looks like a bundled baby. Mm. Father's looking stoically forward. You can't see any of its bones. While the mother is unlikely like little... that it is dead. <laughs> it appears fleshy it and alive. Gives off a sad vibe. Perhaps they are sad, starving. So. Pictures bore me. Also, sorry I'm not uh, talking a lot right now. I'm picking spells. <laughs> you are good. Um, I'm going to do a perception check on this door up here. Okay. All right. As soon as he's done with that, I'm going to quietly creak open this door. Uh, which one? Oh, Get The one that led into the room where all the people were. Yeah, you listen those. in. Um, and this one, you don't hear anything. But... Mm. Sounds like a large. Like, I would like to oh, yeah. quietly open the door. Yeah, which one are you opening? The one right in front of me. The north one. Yeah. Yeah. You open it up, and you see a large table in front of you. Um, you don't see any people, but you see a lavish display on this very ornate table. There's a large turkey, potatoes, uh, salads. Uh, other various meats, a little like party tray full of like hors d'oeuvres. Ooh. Mm. Like some lovely silverware. Hors d'oeuvres. It seems like it's been set for seven or eight here, but no one is seated. You hear the people in there? I'm kind of like well, peering over his shoulder. I yeah. don't see anyone. The the second you open the door, all the sound you originally heard is gone. Hmm. All you see is a, a nice bouquet, a nice buffet. There's no one here. Yeah, right. That's all spooky. Okay, I don't know if you're doing this, but there's a room up here that's getting illuminated. Can I do a perception check to see if I hear the noise coming from anywhere else? I'm gonna go into this room. Uh, give me a second, Kevin. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, okay. You're, you're like listening in for people. Yeah. Or what are you doing? I know I heard the noise in here, but mm-hmm. I wanted to see if we can hear it anywhere else. The the noise was a hundred percent coming from in here. Hmm. I just want to see if I can hear it coming from anywhere else, see if it's moving around or something. Yeah, Kevin, that's just um, a feature of the the party shared illumination. Uh, you, yeah. can't set, you can't set lighting to be different on different floors, so you can just see that space because Bobby can currently see it. It's, uh, um, shit. Where do I hear him from? 
Uh, yeah, you're walking around, and I mean, you hear footsteps coming from directly above you. I just sort of let the people know of that I hear people coming from up above. Mm. And that this room is completely empty. You sure that's not just Killian? I'm fairly certain. Halflings are very light on their feet. I wanted to give him an Irish accent. I think I need to practice more, unless it's super, super cringy, but... No, the cringier the better. <laughs> no. Um, so I'm going to, with that information, I'm going to open up this door. Yeah. You Quietly. Go ahead. You open it up very slow. Doesn't make much sound, but it's it's quite an old door. Hard to avoid any noise. Uh, inside, you see a library. Mm -hmm. see red velvet drapes covering windows of this room. An exquisite mahogany desk. Uh, and a matching high black chair uh, facing the entrance to the uh, east you see another fireplace they love these hearts <laughs> above that fireplace uh, you see another framed image of a windmill on a craggy rock uh, are you stepping into the room I am as long as I don't see anyone else in here I'd like to come up with him when I hear the door, kind of, when I hear him opening the door. Yeah, you open the door, step in, you see some pretty cushy chairs, uh, mm. and on the other side of the wall, the it's absolutely filled with hundreds of books. And there appears to be a large ladder uh, in order to access the higher-up books. Interesting. Yeah. On this desk itself, you see um, some letters, um, some quills. I'm going to go read the letters. Yeah. You read the letter. The first thing you see uh, is like an unfurled piece of paper. Uh, looks like it was penned uh, pretty recently. It's titled A Song for Elizabeth and on it um, you see uh, what appears to be some kind of tune uh, written in the very end says Bullwarden's words can open the way Bullwarden's words can open the way yeah Bullwarden's words can open the way only what words? Bullwardens. The name. Bullwardens. Happy Friday the 13th. Is that a name? Mm -hmm. Does it look I... like it's capitalized? Yes. Okay. Can I go put at random? <laughs> uh, at random? Yeah. Roll me a d100. Perfect. <laughs> Man, they really changed Tim Hortons. <laughs> God damn! Oh shit! Oh god dang! Uh, yeah, you see a book called Moral Harton. Uh, you pull it, uh, and it crumbles to dust in your hands. Oh damn! Uh, can you spell the name we saw? Uh, yeah, let me post it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's... words of this name will o will open words the way. Words of Borden will open the way. I posted it in chat. Heck yeah. <laughs> Come on. Load yeah. you damn thing. Donkey Kong. Oh no, that was the Thieves Guild. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the D and D chat. Ah, I see. <laughs> What kind uh, of ingredients we got in here? Uh, oh, you which one did you? Which which one in the D and D chat did you post it to? Post I put it, it in the main chat. Oh, the main chat. Okay. In oh, the like, oh, yeah. Did you? One founder. Here? There's like a large buffet 
uh, sit on that table, but you don't see anyone. Okay, I'm going to start taking all the foods I can harvest to turn into soup and put a pot over this (laughs) fire. You're touching the spooky food. St. Xavier is smart, all right? He knows what he's doing. And I'm, yeah, gonna, not food. I'm also going to, uh, once I put all the food in there, use my purify hands to purify it from any evil. Oh, the, the second you touch the food, can you make me a whiz save? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, shit, bro. Mr. Bad bro. Vibes is touching the food. I got protection from getting evil. I'm fine. Uh, the oh rest of How us do don't. Roll? Flash R space D twenty plus whatever your modifier. Plus two. Fuck. That's a that one. You touch the food and you are immediately overwhelmed with the savoriness. Ooh. It smells so good and it's so warm to the touch. God you damn. begin shoveling the food into your no, mouth. No, that's not that's not how this works. Saint Xavier doesn't like anything but soup, bro. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You just got you just I got counters. I got counters. I got counters. I got counters. This has gotta be counterspell. 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 And after a good minute of just like piling this food into your mouth, you open your eyes. God damn it! Your mouth is filled with maggots. And oh, right, you dude. look back over oh. at the display, and all you see is mold and mushrooms growing out of. Yo, some mushrooms? <laughs> uh, Harris, <laughs> oh, poisoned. Oh, okay. oh, poisoned. I would like to begin. Do you touch the spooky food? Cure wounds on myself. <laughs> cure wounds? I don't think that'll do anything. Oh, I um, open up. One of these, is there a window in here I can kind of check on the uh, fog with? Um, yeah, you pull back the drapes, and you you should be able to see outside. <laughs> you just see a backyard, a gate, um, and the mist is still there. Unfortunate. I would like to look at the library to see if I can find anything by Bull Warden. Yeah, go for it. Would that be perception or investigation? Uh, just go upstairs. Oh, just go upstairs? Just go upstairs to the uh, library. Okay. I'm going to go up to the library, see if I can find anything by Bull Warden. Did I really choose not to get the anti-poison thing? I think I did. <laughs> Assuming it will actually let me up the stairs, I would like to go up the stairs. Uh, go this way. Oh, gotcha. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I do have, I have advantage on saving throws against being charmed. It's That's not, not charmed. Not That's being charmed. That's not charmed, boy. bro. What? What, what do you mean? That? It's poison. Well, I touched food. I, I meant the like, char- like the charming of the food, like making me want to eat it. It's a little too late for that, I'm okay. afraid. Well, I, well, I'm gonna apply it this time. I was trying to figure out what it was. I, I told you to keep track of your abilities. Okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Mm. Uh, yeah. You you go back up and you like convene with everyone. Um, Pillion shows you the note uh, and you begin searching around and you find a book. A book? Or it's the Northern Wall uh, labeled. Give me a second. An architect's art. A lusty Argonian maid. Oh, hell yeah. Woo! We're going to be rich boys. You pull it, and you hear the library, the bookshelf, like, pull forward and move to the side. That was a good fucking door hinge sound. Yeah, no. Logan, you don't fuck around with these these door sound effects. Sound effects, (laughs) goddamn. Love that for you. Oh, don't tell me there's a full thing of fresh food right back there, bro. You see it, a darkened corner of the library. <gasps> Stepping forward, you see a skeleton clutching a note, his arm like draping across a uh, chest. I would like to knock on the door before I go in. 
I there is no door. I like I'll knock on the wall. I mean, there's nothing in there. You knock. Skeleton. Nothing. Just being polite. Fair enough. Uh, I I guess I investigate the skeleton. Yeah, you investigate the skeleton, and could you make me a investigation roll? Or a perception? Absolutely. What is my investigation? Oh, it's plus two. I should have been investigating shit this whole time. I missed my plus five <laughs> perception. Uh, Ooh! Yeah, that's very good. You, um, take a good surveil of the skeleton, and you see that uh, they are wearing leather armor. They appear to be some human who triggered a poison dart trap. Um, oh. You see darts sticking out of this dead adventurer's armor and skull. The mechanism seemed to originate from inside the chest, but it no longer functions. Mimic. No, 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 please, no. God damn it. All right, let's, we should probably grab that note. I hate mimics. Yeah, I, I, I take the note, and then I'm like, and then I step back from the chest. I don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, do you see that the when you get close to the chest, you see that there is some stuff inside there? Um, but you take the note from the skeleton's hand. Can I use perception to see what's inside the chest? Sure. Could be useful. Yeah, you see a collection of... Uh, what appear to be like bundles of paper. Uh, they look rather ornate. They seem to be, like, sealed with some kind of symbol. I uh, You also see a couple books, some another letter. Uh, but I believe that is all you see. You said this trap was non-operational? The trap is, yeah. The trap is done. Okay. It's been activated already. Do I see anything in there? I'm going to look in there. Do I see anything by Bull Warden? Uh, inside? Yeah. You, you pulled a book by Bulwarden to open this, uh, secret door. Mm -hmm. But you don't see anything tunnel. else by Bulwarden. Okay. Secret tunnel. You said, was, you said it was all wrapped up in a symbol. Do I recognize a symbol from anywhere? Um, make me an Arcana check. Okay. I'm not good at Arcana. Um, yeah, that tracks. You might have seen um, one of your generals using something here. Mm -hmm. but whatever it was, it might have just been like a speech that he wrote himself. A poem. Give him the help action. Are you going to give him the help action or do you want to roll? Uh, I'll roll. I, I imagine your arcana is probably better than a plus zero. Yes, it will be. <laughs> oh, my. oh my god, my computer is working its ass off tonight. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't know how that thing is still fucking alive, bro. That thing I is like, it, uh... Jesus Christ. Well, it's, it's the windows I have open for this, but it's also the windows I have open for all this job stuff I've been doing. Uh, is it loading the roll? When do you start? Kevin? Oh, there it goes. Oh, my gosh. These are spells. Oh, oh that 20! Oh, These god dang! Bro, you, like, spells. No. you see, as you, like, peer into the box, you see a spell scroll for bless, protection from poison, and spiritual weapon. Does protection protection from poison won't cure poison? Um, I I'd rule that it would. Hell yeah. It, um, 
I take that and bring it yeah. downstairs. Mm -hmm. to, to, are you taking to cure? Are you taking all like all the stuff from this? Because uh... you do see some other stuff in there. Ingredients. Oh, what's the other stuff? Ingredients. Uh, Oh, I, I thought you were gonna say gritty. God damn it! I see. Uh, I'll just give it to you. Gritty. Um, you see some very fine black leather books, uh, each worth twenty-five GP. Uh, a deed to the house. Oh hell yeah! A deed to some windmill. Uh, another letter. Uh, you haven't read either of them yet. Um, okay, I'm gonna write this down in my inventory. Yeah, you can write it in the notes as well. So this is my house now. <laughs> I have the deed. <laughs> you can have my house. That's how it works. Yeah. Do you say we uh, have to split it up? Yeah, you see a will that is signed. Damn, and I, I believe that is all. Who's the will? Wills, baby. We're reforging this in our names, boys. Let's do this. <laughs> Why do you want the house? Don't worry. St. Xavier's right. got a lot of experience Listen, in stealing property. Run, okay? I had a house, and it's gone. Okay? Guys, guys, we put this in with the church tax-free. Tax-free? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. St. <laughs> Xavier knows what he's doing. Just post. But also, I would like to inspect the ingredient or the ingredients. Uh, give me a second. Okay. There, no, that's fine. Yes, cool. Logan is our D our DM for tonight. Other Logan says hi, cool Logan. Mm -hmm. Hi, other <laughs> Logan. <laughs> Well, I'm better, Logan. I'm better, <laughs> Logan. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> I have posted what you got from the chest in the notes channel. Uh, but you... Yeah, boy. Where are you, Harrison? Yeah. Uh, I was looking at the ingredients boy. thing down below originally. I just went up. I didn't realize they were upstairs that entire time. Because <laughs> they were showing on the, the floor down thing. below. Uh, you know the thing with all the pumpkin... Oh, that... Or I guess this is... Oh, wait, never mind. Mm -hmm. Ingredients. Yeah. Uh, you look around and you see these ingredients have... They're not as bad as the food outside, but uh, they're definitely past their prime. Okay, I would like to look for anything salvageable. Yeah. Uh, I have much experience in cooking, so I feel like I should give advantage. Yeah, I'd, I'd give you advantage. Okay. Uh, you're, you're a chef. R D twenty. What, what would that be? Wisdom. Um. Yeah, just like a perception. Or is there a cooking or investigation? Room? Okay, investigation. Uh, oh, I have minus one in that advantage. Uh, 12. Um, you find, like, one good head of cabbage. <laughs> one good head of cabbage? There's no, like, wine or anything else? No, uh, no wine in here. No non-spoilable goods? Okay. Or, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll give you another thing of wine. Let's go. Hmm. All right. And then yeah. I will... Cabbage is good for the body. Wine is I good for the soul. I will steal this big pot here. Yeah, there's uh, some lots of utensils around here. Okay. Uh, In the south side, you see a dumb waiter. What is that again? Dumb it's waiter? the uh, the dumb waiter. You remember the thing in Zathora the kid got inside of? No. Oh, or the you put like stuff in it. I, I would like desert. to look in it. <laughs> you look inside the dumb waiter, um, and you see a small opening. Oh, uh, the dumb waiter is like at that floor. So it goes down to uh, like a basement or something. No. Oh. Um. Here. Yeah. You see a small door. A uh, two-foot-wide stone shaft containing a wooden elevator box attached to a simple rope and pulley, 
uh, must be operated manually. Oh hell yeah! Okay, I would like it to. It looks like it. It looks like it goes to some floors above you. Uh, hanging on the wall next to the dumbwaiter is a tiny brass bell. All right, and I am going. It to... seems like there are wires coming out of it. I'm going to harvest this room of all the cooking utensils and then hop in the elevator and ring the bell. <laughs> uh, how you're not small. So it, oh, actually, yeah, never mind. It, it's like a two foot. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, well, well. I will. I will not hop in that. Whatever then. will we do? If only we had. <laughs> no, if only we small. had. Can I? Uh... Right, Saint. Can I roll perception on the room below to the south of me, and if I don't hear anything, enter it? Um, so, oh Killian God. did Ooh. listen to that room, and he heard some, like, harpsichord uh, piano. Alright, I'll open it slowly. You do so. Sound cuts off, I'm guessing? Yes. It slowly, like, fades the like, last note that was played. Uh, and you open up into a, another very ornate music room. Hmm. Few instruments, few chairs. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I... Can I roll Arcana on the instruments? Uh, yeah. Uh, what are you trying to do? Determine how the if the sound is coming from the instrument, from like the room itself or something. Hmm. Uh, the music has stopped at this point. Um, right. But, but I would assume um, magic would be, you know, present. Um. <laughs> You don't sense any magic. Okay. Right. Yeah, in this room you see a large array of like uh, portraits of people like dancing and singing, playing music. <clears throat> Seems like a nice grand piano. Anyone um... know how to set the vibe? Could I do a quick medicine check on myself really quick? <laughs> uh, you do have a spell scroll of uh, cure poison or protection from poison. Oh, I do? Mm hmm. I'll do a medicine check instead. I don't want to waste a spell slot. Does anyone have any musical ability? It's not a spell slot to use a scroll. Oh, no. Okay, I'll use it then. Uh, I have some. I don't know if I'm proficient, but. I know how to play... Oh, wait. I might have selected the other uh, thing. Do I have to roll to use it? Forget. I'm sorry. Nope. Oh, okay. I'll it go. just goes off. Okay, sweet. But the spell scroll's used up. Alrighty. Yeah. You are now immune to poison for an hour. I don't know how long it lasts. Oh, okay, Pog. Uh, what are you doing, William? I think, let me see here, abilities, saves. Uh, skills. Uh, I got a plus one to performance. I'll try the piano. Uh, what are you um, going to play? I... I was I was listening pretty pretty well to that tune, so I'm gonna try to play what was being played earlier. I okay. wish you, you could step back from the edge, my friend. <laughs> Give me like a perception check. Or oh, is that all I was playing earlier? Check. Dang. <laughs> Just before you start playing. Yeah, I'll do intelligence. Kiwi is... He's not a tall boy. Nope. I say he's like... Well, I don't know. I haven't thought of a canon Kiwi height. I don't want to say or, anything too hard. Right. I'm going to have to like, figure that, that out. Time. I need to establish Ooh. an accurate canon <laughs> Kiwi height. Uh, he's not that big. He's probably like do. half my head, maybe. Well, uh, you can go ahead and try and perform out. what you heard. I'd say probably like prior. a parrot. 
About make just like a size. performance check. And very round. Okay. By nat 20, this is the cancel right. out. The, uh... Oh, wait. You have, uh... Don't you remember? You have, uh... Luck. Oh, you, let's you go! Good luck, baby! All right, when we hit in the casino... <laughs> Oh. I hate it here. <laughs> oh, not the uh, luck. Give me a, give me a performance <laughs> check. Okay. Okay. You begin playing a song. Um, and as you do, um, you're a little rusty. Not too familiar with pianos, I'd assume. But you're able to get the gist of the song. And you see a myriad of ghosts appear. <gasps> they begin floating around the whole room. What D&D class? Pairs dancing with one another. Am I going to add this then? Oh... You wow. keep playing. Um, you notice that there are two ghosts not playing them, or not dancing around the room. Uh, the moment you spot them, a twang jets out from the piano as a wire snaps and the ghosts fade. Above you, uh, about a story up, you hear the shifting of a wall, the cla and the crashing of glass, and then a wall shifts back. Interesting. Fascinating. Fascinating. We should probably go check that out. No, I thought we'd go home. Uh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's home. just go home. Yeah, I go home, go bed. What is the what is our dwarf companion thing? Oh, I don't. I just grabbed a guitar for no reason. I have no idea. I wasn't paid enough for this. <laughs> You've been pretty quiet this whole time, dwarfy. Yeah, he he's Whoa! horrified by what's been going on. Alert! <laughs> um, you seem like kind of like <laughs> I'm old. They like keep changing the language uh, behind each of you. Before you can uh, say it, now you can't say it. <laughs> What D and D class would Kiwi be? Oh, I have no idea. Um, yeah, he, so he, he would have been pretty freaked out. He's very freaked out by all. I feel of like this. Kiwi's a bard, um, low key. Is Kiwi a bard? I feel like Kiwi's a troll, bro. I don't know. I want to go upstairs Kiwi again. Lore. Can I establish some Kiwi lore. <laughs> Is there a way to go upstairs? Is there a third oh, floor? Did you go upstairs? Yeah. There's a third uh, floor. Uh, what? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, there is. Does the stairs go up the stairs? I can't go up the stairs. Adam, the second you pass by this uh, armor stand, go back. <laughs> go back. <laughs> I'm gonna stay right here. I'm trying. I can't. <laughs> Does that help that everyone shows on every floor for me? So I have no idea. I'm having some trouble moving as well. Well, now I'm surrounded by. Four walls, apparently. <laughs> Four walls. What did you do? Four walls. And five years ago, he attempted oh movement gosh. flies of at least one wall. <laughs> I could one point and laugh at this stuck turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I was just imagining hey! he's upside down, like guys, guys. Help. He just fell directly on his back and he can't roll over. <laughs> Logan, please move me out of here. Where are you? <laughs> I'm on the second floor in the middle of this area. He's stuck in fucking limbo, bro. Not the back rooms, no. There's two of you. Why is there two of them? Oh my god, he duplicated. Holy shit. He really is the in the back rooms. are multiplying. All right, Adam's been replaced by an imposter who we don't know if he's actually Adam. And Adam doesn't yep, himself doesn't yep. know if he's actually Adam anymore. It's like teleportation. If you teleport, all you matter to one, another place. So you're really the same person. 
You'll never know. You'll never know. God, my computer is shitting right now. Just hook up a GTX 4090 to it. Well, one of me isn't. I don't know what the other you is. Position yourself in front of the armor stand, please. Right, I am. What the fuck is this? Uh, the second you pass by it, oh, you see a flame in its eyes. I already hydrated, uh, motherfucker. As it will shove you. Uh, can you make me an athletics or dex roll? Can't do strength. Damn. Here we go. You happy? I'm going to go piss in a few seconds. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well. <clears throat> oh. Okay. I love the indie. Oh, wait, did I, anyone I check under like the to, road? Uh, push the armor stand back, please. Uh, well, it's a competing check. I don't like being shoved. What the fuck is there a saxophone yeah, in this? Yeah, this armor stand. Muzzle com flash. catches you completely off guard uh, as it attempts to push you back. Muffle. I see this happen. I'd like to also test my strength against the armor. Uh, it's going to make another attempt. I would like to hit the whip. Damn, uh, kill you roll your you, like you. you say I'd like to hit the whip. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right, you you yeah. Uh, you're pushed down the edge of the stairs and fall all the way back down to the ground floor. 300 views, baby, on the Battle Bit video. Uh, Let's go. Oh, yes, sir. 11 yes, damage. Yes, sir. For subscribers. Oh, did it get a try twice? Uh, I'd like each of you to roll We're initiative. Society. <gasps> oh. Here we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Finally. It's giving squilliam. Wait, what the fuck? Who is this? Holy shit. Okay, because I'm stupid, reload. that's just D20 plus dex, right? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm gonna put on pajamas, I'll be back. I'll put on pajamas, I'll be back. Okay. There you go, that's everyone. Right, I gotta do the next combat track. I'm stupid. It's not so easy. You can just change mine to four. What? Or I can roll. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's two of you on here. <laughs> um, I'll take the 11. It's my Where's clone it? jutsu. Well, if I roll the four first, technically, so you really shouldn't break that. Alright. Oh, can you make me another save? Uh, deck save? What? Yeah, make me a deck save as you fall and plummet all the way down. Oh my god, my, this is, my foundry is shitting itself. You land on your feet. Okay. You would have land prone. You're able to I, like I, rock forward. It's up on that when you said land on my feet. I can't believe I just got pushed twice though in a row. That's quite rude. Uh, Logan, I sent you what's happening on my screen. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Not ideal. Yeah, try reloading, baby. This is what happened after I reloaded it. Oh no. We were doing fine until the fucking staircase. <laughs> yeah, what did he do?
Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> you don't really need to see for this encounter. Oh, I just did the roll what? in the chat. Do I need to do the roll in like the what you uh, call I'll it? Get, I'll pick your roll. What did you get? I rolled an eighteen. Eighteen. D twenty plus two. Uh, what did uh, Xavier get? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I was asking what Xavier got. Oh. Uh, Kevin, what do you get? I haven't been able to roll. Um, you can roll in the dice channel, I think. Let's see here. Oh, you got a five. I got a five. Jeez. All right. Uh, what did you get, if any? Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Oops. Okay. That is the order. We begin with Halbricht, who's at the top floor. Uh, seeing you tumble over, he's going to start booking it back down the staircase. Is there like a a uh, initiative tracker or something like that? Yep. Oh, here it is. The second tab. Uh, Titan, where do you? So this guy, yeah, this guy's right in front of me. Mm, where are you? Aren't you at the ground floor? I was right here. I was right next to San Xavier. On the ground floor? I think your armor guy is literally on top of me. On the ground floor? Where are you? I, oh, I on was right floor? here. Yeah, I think I was on the second floor. It's on the third floor. It's on the third floor? Okay. In that case, I would like to... You can start using the movement to... You're on yeah. the second floor, middle of the room. You're going to have to move up the steps to get to him. Yeah. So a... I would definitely like to do that. Where am I? You're on the second floor. I, I know, but I, I see... The only thing I see is the third floor. You only like, see how this? do I get access to oh. the second floor? Do you see it? Yeah, I see myself now. There you go. Okay. Uh, how far is it, anyway? How far is what? 15, 20. Just to move up the stairs. Oh, move up the stairs. That was... Yeah. Just to move from the five, second to the third five, floor. 15, 20, 5. That was uh, 30 feet. 30 feet to move up the stairs? Yep. Okay. I would like to go up the stairs. You're, you're there. I'm there? Yeah, you're on the third floor. Do you not see the uh, armor stand in front of you? I do, but like it's it's all dark. Uh, <laughs> it's just all dark. Do you not see the room that you're in? I do, but again, it's all dark. The only thing I see is I see the armor, I see Killian, and I see myself. Do you oh, see... glad someone sees me. Floors here. Yeah. Okay, now I see everybody else. Now I see everyone and everything. That's the second floor. Now the second floor. This is the third floor. Me. I'm back. Okay. If you zoom in, you should be able to see part of a staircase and then an armor stand. I, I mean, I see the big armor thing. That, and I mm -hmm. see the staircase. Yep. And then I see Killia. <laughs> and that's, yeah. on, that's the third floor. Okay, and I can't see anything else. Well, no, I can, no. but it's all just dark. Well, yeah, there are walls around you. It's, yeah. You can't see past them. Okay. So, um, five feet from this guy, since I'm at the top of the stairs now? Yes. 
Cool. In that nice. case, I would like to bonus action rage. Okay. This guy messed with my buddy. I would like to take my great axe and I'd like to chop him. All right. So here I'm just going to... I think I can actually do it on my little character sheet thing here. I think. Usability. And based on the actual character sheet, it's plus... Plus two, yeah. Plus two to attacks. Do you not have... You should definitely have a lot more than plus two as a barbarian. I mean, it says plus two just on the character sheet because it says uh, gain advantage, strength checks, and saving throws, not attacks, plus two to melee damage with strength weapons, resistance to bludgeoning, slashing damage, can't, uh, can't concentrate. That's, on that's rage. rage damage. When you roll for damage, you add two to it. Yeah. Do when I you gain... roll two attack. That's something different. Oh, okay, okay. Your two attack is your strength plus your proficiency. Oh, strength plus proficiency? You should see it at the first tab of your inventory, or actions, I believe. Okay, I'm just gonna... Are you just talking about the hit DC thing? I'm talking about your two hit. When you yeah, roll yeah. to hit something, mm -hmm. you roll a d20 plus your strength plus your proficiency. And if it matches its DC, uh, its AC or higher, you hit it. Well, yeah, because... Hey, you want me to come back to you? Uh, I think I got it. Plus three, plus two. Is this, that's oh, there right. you go. Yeah. Yep, you hit it. We sports <laughs> stream. Holy and shit. And wait. do the damage. This is a great idea. I'm down. Yeah, Wii I gave most of you Wii your uh, stream. weapons and stuff that you have. We face off. Oh, I forgot I have. And then uh, big slashy damage. Yeah, so roll for damage. Uh, four. That's fourteen plus two. Fourteen plus so that's, two. Uh, two. Yep, sixteen damage to him. Uh, you whack off like an arm from this man. Uh, but they don't seem like phased from it. They they don't have much of like, they can't really react to anything. <laughs> but you see him like crumble to some bits. He's still standing though. Mm. We're gonna move on to. Benny. I think I'm being covered by Albrecht. Like my token. There I am. Oh, there it is. I'm going to do the classic uh, infestation. So he has to make a con save. And somehow I feel like he's really good at con. He, he might be a little good at con. <laughs> Saint Xavier. But what hurt. if he fails anyways? Saint Xavier no, hears the word it. infestation. Really? St. Xavier he hears the word infestation uh, and quickly ten. backs away. On Titan. Ooh, <laughs> 10 fails. He takes um, a D6 as like a cloud of mites just kind of twist and wind in between the mm -hmm. armor and cracks. Um, <laughs> da -da -da, he takes 1D6 damage and uh, he has to roll a D4 and he moves in a random direction based on that. <laughs> Oh my oh gosh. God, I'm kind of okay. Weird. As like, as I mean, it's armor, but you know, it's like, ooh, is buttons. that is that psychic damage? Uh, it is. Uh, poison damage. Okay. The uh, like playing poison D &D. damage. You notice D &D. You get he's a little bit the end and you're like, Ooh. resistant. To, what? For lack of a better word. Well, really but animated he's still... armor is resistant to poison. <laughs> this is a good thing. Thanks Maybe a little up. bit. Um, well, well, he takes a fat one damage from mites and fleas. Oh, excuse me. 
He yeah. does, and he's gonna have to make that save. DMs. Uh, he's looking pretty bloodied right now. Oh, he, he doesn't make a. Oh, that is fucking glorious. What, is it? That oh, is like he just throw a d4 and he. Yeah, it's if you fail that's the right, that's spell right. save. It looks like the guy from right. um, uh, Legend yeah, of Zelda. That's on. awesome. That's really Did cool. Did he move? Oh, yeah. uh, well, now it's his well, turn. Is it at the start of their turn or AI when is it? No, it's, it's immediately. Oh, okay. They're doing that then. Uh, a four. One, two, a three, four, four is west. West would be into the wall. So they bash into the wall. Um, Too tiny, but... Wait, into a wall? Yeah. West. Wait, but I see a rug. Hold on, am I? What's going on? They're on a different floor from you. Uh, click the levels button, maybe? Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Where's the levels button? Uh, it should be the arrows on there, I think. Anytime a cardinal direction is mentioned, <laughs> I just the immediately arrows, pick up arrows? Kevin. Constantly. The... This one? That one. Oh, what is that? Elevation. Yeah, yeah they're above you right now. Oh, I can still see their tokens, though, so I might actually not even be able to do that. Uh, uh, if you got into the staircase, you could see them. Okay. So I'll let it... But yeah, they, they're right now, they're on the third floor. They're, like, facing against a, a wall. They oh, back okay. up into the wall. Um, yeah, they, they just don't move anywhere. Uh, how do I go to another level on the... Oh, my. Well, first, yeah. you hit the whip. And then um, you hit the nene, and then, and then, gonna, <laughs> and then you're not gonna believe this. Where but I'll, like, I'll let him take like a a no. d4 of damage. No, he just uh, the spell specifically says if they can't move there. It oh, just, they can't move there. I don't know if they had anything. A... All right. Uh, well, we move on then. <clears throat> Alien. Ah, you're spreading this. Your computer your is steps man, looking up at them man, right now. Man. Okay, so I'm looking up oh, at them. Oh man, um, I haven't had anything to eat yet. I'm just and I, I thought close I would my computer. Uh, but nope, I've been drinking this without is not me today. Uh, today. All right, where's D and D Beyond? Um, am I, is there anyone between me and him? Yeah, uh, there is. Maybe. There's Titan between you two. Oh, perfect. I am going to. Hide behind Titan. Okay. Is that a... So that would give me sneak attack next turn, right? Next turn. Um, in order to get sneak attack bonus, you either have to have advantage on the roll or have someone five feet next to the target. And right now there is five, someone five feet next to him, so you don't need to hide. Oh, sweet. Um... Wait, could you give me that one more time? I'm sorry, I'm trying to multitask so with this computer. Or sneak attack. Right, I don't have any more background music. Um, so in order to charge. get that extra damage, you either have to mm -hmm. have advantage on the roll uh, of the creature you're targeting, or you have to have someone next to the creature you're targeting. And right now, someone is next to him. Oh, sweet! So I could do it. I could just attack. Um, then I'll sneak attack him, um, and I can't roll. Highly recommend a Klimba. Uh, you don't have one. They are very fun. Can you roll for you. me? Or someone else can. Yes, they I want. can do this. <laughs> What's your I'll two hit? I want Benny to roll for me. All right, Benny. Roll for him. I'm rolling. What am I rolling? Uh, you are rolling an attack for my rapier. Um, What's the bonus? Or I'll just roll a d20. The bonus? Uh, yeah. Plus uh, whatever okay. the bonus is. Yeah, what's your, what's your bonus? Plus five? I believe... Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, plus five. Unfortunately, that's going to miss. Uh, hey. As it, like, clings off the side of the armor. Uh, yeah. It lumbers forward. Uh, s still enraged at uh, Titan in front of them. Adam. Adam? Um, with four people currently in this staircase, is there really any way? Yeah, I can see him, right? Yeah. Was that a yeah? You kind of cut yep. out. You can see them. All right. I would like to gun him the fuck down. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> Let's see. 
Blast them. Should be a plus three. Yeah, unfortunately, that's going to, again, like, clang off of this, like, heavy armor uh, that this thing is wearing. Or that this thing is. More so. I would also like to cast um, magic stone on some of my pebbles. Okay, might as well stop getting distracted by everything around the... That was fun. And kind of hold them out towards, um... Towards Killian. <laughs> All right. Hey, Adam, are you able Xavier. to share screen on Discord? Uh, I can't. I was, I was asking Adam because he's he's in yeah. the room with me. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Uh, but Xavier, right to you. There's it. Wait, what's up? What? I... <laughs> it's or are you eating chips right now? No, I got what? I, I pulled out the cleanser for a second. I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> what? What? It's your turn. Oh. Uh, I am going to. Oops. How much damage did I take from the poison food? Nothing. Oh, I didn't take poison any damage. Poison is a status from... condition. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it's a status I... condition that makes you uh, have disadvantage on ability checks and such. Okay. I am going to throw a javelin at the knight from the stairs from up above. Yeah, okay. Uh... Do, do these, like, expire every time I throw one, or do I... Can I re-grab them? The javelins? Yeah. Yeah, you can pick them back up. Oh, okay, sweet. Um. All right, javelin. Or you can throw my rocks. I got. I got good rocks here. He does have rocks. And I get advantage, right? Because I have skills with. Or, oh wait, never mind. I'm just proficiency with long sword, sharp. So never mind. All right. <laughs> uh, normal. Oh no, God, you, dang! You, you should throw my rocks. All right, twenty-three. Does that hit? <laughs> that is not a critical, but yes, that hits. Oh dang! One off a of critical. Okay, damage. Normal. Five damage. Five damage. It takes it. Sick. And I think. Yeah, another like. Like a wrist piece pops off. I think I'm done. Sorry. I was, I was just seeing if I have a bonus action I can use. Yeah, you get. Um, okay, I'm done. Albrex is still going to be cowering. Floor. Titan, we're back to you. What? He doesn't want any rocks? <laughs> Afraid not. <laughs> Give him the rock. What, Adam, what's your character's name again? Uh, Alson. Alson? <clears throat> Alson. The more you say that, the more I'm confused I am on how you pronounce that. Alson. Alson? Yeah. It's the sound of Kung Pao Chicken. Kung Pao Chicken. Because everybody was Kung Fu. Fighting. Oh, Powson. Powson. I see. I see. Powson. I'll be there. Yep, I'm here. I'm just waiting for them to figure out his name. Powson, give him the rocks. I'm trying to get through. I would like to take my great axe and cleave into this metal armor. Yeah, do it. I clicked it a bunch of times. Whatever. Oh my gosh. My chat logs. Damn. <laughs> uh, 11 will miss. Um, yeah. As it kind of clangs off of this like rusted heavy armor. Uh, unless you have a bonus action, we're moving back to. Oh, no, no, no bonus action. Oh, All right. I'm not going to lie. I do not know how to like travel up to the second floor. So there are stairs. If you just step on, like, step around the stairs as normal, you should be able to go up. Uh, I am also currently hidden behind Titan by accident because I was trying to do that earlier. Like, can you not grab your character? Uh, not when it's hidden behind someone. 
Interesting. How did you manage to hide yourself behind the moon around Mars? Also, I mean, if you don't select, you should just be able to use the arrow keys and it'll move out from behind them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can use the arrow keys? You can Whoa. use arrow keys. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. Uh, yeah. that's, that's high tech, dude. <laughs> all right, wait. All right, all right, so I'm moving up the stairs. Huh? Why are there two Leonardo DiCaprios? Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Okay, the arrows aren't working anymore. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, I'm downstairs again. There we go. Oh, oh, you now I am in the like, like, circle. You now I am downstairs. Why are you not speaking in like a Transylvanian oh, accent my, constantly, oh, Benny? Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I, yeah, look, I, look back. <laughs> I, I feel um, like you're just ruining my, you're ruining my immersion my, my, here. My immersion. No. <laughs> my immersion. My no. immersion. No. <laughs> um, I forget. So, Gus, right? I can push him five feet away from me. Mm -hmm. If I do that, um, does Titan get an op attack? Uh, pushing someone doesn't give op attack. No, not even if it's like a big gust of wind. <laughs> Wimbdy. Wimbdy. Uh, I'm gonna do it a like yeah, a football any, play. I, I think any like um non committed movement doesn't give up attacks. Oh lame. Alright. So I don't know if you want to talk hey, You were just saying though. the other day how up attacks take Yeah, I know, but they're great when I get to use them. <laughs> <laughs> they're great when I want them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Gube. Um Come on, bro. I'm going to do another classic oh, infestation, but this time it's going to be cockroaches that, like, crawl up from the floorboards. Okay, okay. God. That's another Conse from um, Xavier. He's uh, again scared. Oh, 17 <laughs> passes. Literally nothing happened. Yeah, he, he just kind of, like. Yeah, he, he just stands there. He just, I guess. just stands there. Cockroaches, yeah. go! Cockroaches, just, like, go! Use tackle. Spencer's Let's like, go. this usually causes them trouble. And then the, the fucking suit of armor is just standing there. <laughs> the suit of armor is just like standing there as cockroaches are like running around their body. Yeah. Like, mm, mm. That's less than adequate for the situation. <laughs> uh, just have him stuff the, the joints, bro, and then he can't move. And Exactly. Bobby, you are right in front of it. So it's going to right be... Front of it. I've been taking swings on it. It's going to be taking an attack against you. Uh, 21. I assume that hits. That, that absolutely hits. Fuck, I'm not within five feet of him. Shit. You take five damage. As five it, damage like, half. Five damage half to two, yes. As it, like, two. takes its, like, sword and what slashes happened to the point you down five? the chest. I've got harder beatings from my uh, mother. <laughs> Any time it asks you to have anything, you roll down and uh, oh, or okay. you round down. Sick. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to make it another attack against you as it swings down and begins to swing back up. Um, and it's rolling well. Yeah, it's rolling real well. All right. Bring it. That's another two damage. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're, you're eating these hits. Um, we go to Killian. All right. Um... I am. So I'm gonna hit him. Mm -hmm. um, does he? Does he seem? Oh, well, well, let's, let's see it. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. Um, Benny, can you roll me a d20 plus five again? Absolutely. Or sorry, I mean, oops. Wow. Oops. R. There you go. Oops. Oh. Yeah, what is it? You can trust Penny. That was a nine. That was a nine. Damn, I'm switching um, to Adam. <laughs> oh, and then I'm going either. to do. As you launch a shot into it, and it's just like kind of like it like pinks into the armor. Uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. Um, mm, then I'm going to do a. Yeah, you got your oh. bonus action. I do have my bonus action. To, I'm going to do my bonus action to, um, because I don't have a I don't have a dual wield, so I guess I have to do my bonus action to hide. Give me self advantage next next attack. Bonus action hide. Yep, my cunning action. Oh, someone added the bot back in. Thank you. Yeah, sorry, I just noticed. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um. 
bonus action hide. Yep. Uh, yeah, roll me the check. Uh, stealth check. Adam, can you roll me a d20? d20 plus 7. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 16. You're out of there. Heck yeah. So this, so doing I this mean, and then attacking next turn would give me a that would give you advantage a on him? Yes. Hell yeah. Uh, we're moving back to Pearson. So, um... Oh, no, man. Just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Improvised weapons. Yes. And two-handed... Two-handed, uh... Whatever the term for it is. Uh, two... What's the damn Two-weapon fighting. Two-weapon fighting. Theoretically, um, I can use my weapon and do a and bonus action, lot, right? Um, if we're yeah. counting rock as an improvised weapon, on uh, what are, what's the rule for two-handed fighting? I believe you need to have like two light weapons. Yep, when you take the attack action and attack with a light melee, melee weapon that you're holding in one hand, you can use a bonus attack, bonus action to attack with a different light melee weapon that you're holding in the other hand. Yeah. Yep, you could do that with, um... Uh... Two light weapons. And, uh... I'd imagine a... Improvised weapon would be light. A pebble is a light weapon? <laughs> I consider that to be a light weapon, I guess. What? Okay. Oh, a pebble. <laughs> it's a magic pebble, though. So I'm magic. throwing. I'm throwing the pebble first. Okay. Uh, is that a sixteen? Yeah, I'm afraid. No, that's, that's Kevin's stealth roll. Right. Oh, that's right. That's the pebble. Twenty-five oh. does in fact hit. As you like playing this thing right in the back of its helmet. Wait, a twenty-four doesn't hit him. That's a it not twenty. God, he's ridiculous. Oh, does hit? Oh, oh and that's a crit roll. Yeah, I didn't realize. You know me, gotta yeah, advocate. Right between the eyes. Uh, give me a uh, critical hit, which is your maximum dice. Three hundred views. Uh, I think that's the first crit. Three hundred views. First crit of the campaign. And then add your your Dude, like bonus. So the thing is, I don't think I technically add my spellcasting modifier, because I said this was my bonus action, and for two-weapon fighting, you don't add a modifier to the damage. Uh, do you not? Yeah, unless you're taking the pebble description to supersede it for some reason. <clears throat> uh, well, I'll just add uh, max roll damage plus uh, whatever. Posture check, really? God damn it. The d4 is. I think it's a D4, right? It's a D6. D6. So uh, six plus yeah. D6. I, I'm so confused. What? What do you uh, mean? This game's so simple. <laughs> no, because the Magic Stone says your one D6 plus your spellcasting ability modifier, but it also, like the automatic section of D&D Beyond, has it listed as plus one D6 plus two, and my spellcasting modifier is plus four. Uh, oh no, it's plus two. That's right. Yeah. Okay, I see. It, so yeah. Uh, oops. 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 Kevin. R slash. You guys. Nine dude. Damage. I just love Reddit so I much. Love Reddit so you much. Hang this thing, uh, and its helmet goes flying off. Um, oh yeah. Like, holds its position for a second, and then crumbles into a bunch of uh, armor bits. Nice. Where's me? Big fan of killing the first enemy of the campaign with a fucking rock. Oh, that sounds like a goddamn point. You are worthy. Wait, do you oh. throw it at him or do you have like a little slingshot? No, I just chuck it at him, dude. <laughs> there you go. Hell yeah. All right, so let's take a better right, uh, Do you guys? Do you guys think I should cast um? You guys think I should cast Mending on this armor? <laughs> I mean, if you do, I'm just going to strike it down so. again. 
careful, Adam. I'll see your emails. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Are we out of combat? You're out of combat. Okay. Definitely search the armor. Uh, well, you start, like, picking up the armor, inspecting all of it. And it's it's just like a classic suit of armor. Nothing fancy hidden within. Can I do an Arcana check on that? Yeah. Uh, Adam, can you roll me a d20 plus three, I think? Uh, Eleven, you surmise that this is just your standard animated armor. Some animated object. It, it's pretty well known. I don't Ooh. think you need too much arcana on it. All right, I'm back, sorry. I would like yeah, to investigate the armor to see if it has gauntlets, just like metal hand gauntlets. Are you going to punch people to death? No, oh, I want them as a souvenir. I mean, yeah, there, there are like bits of armor all over the floor. You can find some like gauntlets. I would like to take the gauntlets and put them on. Okay. That's admiration for my foe. <laughs> All right. World Metal Spirit Man. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. I wonder if this was a person in a past life. Dreadful <laughs> way to live. You fought with honor. It fought with... Rephrase that. It fought poorly. <laughs> I'd like to recollect my pebble, please. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> you, you the, special, the special pebble. Are you going to name the pebble? Uh, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Ooh, shiny rock. Ooh, big rock. Oh, I am in the middle of something. Um, Jesus. Give me a second. Killian is gonna. I don't really see the map too well from Adam's screen, but Killian is gonna come further up the stairs. Okay. Yeah, I can. Um. Yeah, and then. Yeah, you. Is there a room? You see a room to the north, uh, a little bit of light trickling in, and then two rooms to the south. Just like meeting out of corner. The, we're going to go to the room to the north. Alright, you step up. You see another door uh, behind you. But yeah, you walk up to the room to the north. Um, there's like some prismatic glass here, but you aren't able to make out anything concrete. I see. By looking um, or I should say I don't see. Um, I will. It seems like the only things here are animated. Um, so I'm just gonna open the door. You open it, and you are greeted with an intense scene. What? You see a master suite. Here you see a nice master bedroom very large uh more drapes let's see uh in the corner you see a mirror uh some chairs and such but on the bed hanging you see someone that looks to be like mid transformation into a ghast dressed in very very formal clothes. All right, boys, don't worry about it. Your boy is here. Lead me to him. Now this is fascinating. They, they seem to be holding another letter in their hands. Okay, I would like to begin performing ceremony on the corpse to make sure they don't turn into an undead or anything. Uh, do you have the spell to do that? Oh, I should, yeah. Well, what's it? Uh, ceremony, it just takes a bit of preparation, but I have all the things in my pack, in my, uh, priest pack. Ceremony. 
that, is that funeral or... rites? Uh, yeah, funeral or ceremony, and then yeah, funeral rites under ceremony. Uh, yeah, you you conduct uh whatever ceremony you do. I, I'll let you decide. All right, I take the soup out out of my inventory and begin pouring it over his body, and then saying my prayers for him. <laughs> and the uh, secret for my soup, actually, I figured out. I can make holy water. So the soup is made with holy water. There we go. That's the secret. I know it was magic. Hmm. So it was uh, magic. Yeah, you walk up to the corpse. Uh, <laughs> they there, were all running out of town. If pouring you know, your holy okay. water over it and stuff. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem to react. Uh, but it, it, it's been... You're, you're blessing yeah, me yeah. through. All right. Well, let's go, baby. Undead prevented. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the letter and read You're it. Talking. Yeah, you have like three letters on you. I don't think you've read any of them yet. Um, I'll start with the first two I found downstairs, and then I'll the read first this two? one. Okay. Um, let me roll back. Uh, the first one you pull out is the one that you saw clutched in the skeleton's hand. It says, in a very, like elaborate uh, penmanship. My most pathetic servant. Oop. I'm not a messiah sent to you by the dark powers of this land. I have not come to lead you on your path to immortality. However, many souls you have bled on your hidden altar. However many visitors you have tortured in your dungeons, know that you are not the ones who brought me to this land. You are but worms writhing in my earth. You say that you are cursed, your fortune spent. You abandoned love for madness, took solace in the bosom of another woman, and sired a bastard son. Cursed by darkness? Of that I have no doubt. Save you from your wretchedness? I think not. I much prefer you as you are. Your dread lord and master, Rod Von Zerovich. Hey, with this master. God dang, guy. this man's spitting. Hmm? <laughs> man's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Master guy. So then, I read the the next letter. The next one is the one you found within the chest next to the body. Um, it reads, it's a, this is very different, uh, pen and handwriting. You see, my dear Dimov, I must confess, my nights of late have been quite restless. My child wails these past several evenings and have been keeping me awake, haunting these halls like a ghost. <laughs> Margaret does her best, but other clouds yet trouble my dreams. Yeah, they might be too late. My beloved me. Elizabeth, I'm sure, feels it too. For she tosses and turns in our bed and awakes with her forehead slick with sweat. Over the past several congregations, I have become suspicious of the ambitions of the others. Their dark murmurs worry me. And though I know that a shadow ought not fear a blanket blacker night, I cannot but fear for the extent of their plotting. If anything happens, you are to be a steward of our parents' house and tear caretaker of my child keep rose and thorn shave and dear walter close to your breast should the worst come to pass you shall be all they have left your loving brother gustav gustav god let me just say how much of a masterpiece the dark souls music in the background of that was <laughs> of the letter reading it was perfect <laughs> Yeah, that's a lore bit you'd see on like a It like audience. genuinely took me back for a second. I feel like I'm reading a letter <laughs> in Dark Souls 3. Um, you know, I have a theory. I believe <laughs> this family has died. Quite possibly a horrible, painful death. Congratulations, Sherlock. <laughs> Thank you. Um, are you going to read the last one? Oh, yes. Okay. This is very clearly a suicide note. Oh. It reads. Wait, and we found this one off the rate? Is the cover up? Uh, yeah, the ghast 
was carrying, like, it had some, like, rigor mortis, uh, and it was, like, clutching this letter close to itself. Uh, it says, My beloved children, I wish that I could do what all fathers do and tell you that monsters are not real. But it wouldn't be true. Life can create things of exquisite beauty, but it can also twist them into hideous beings. Selfish, violent, grotesque, monstrous. It hurts me to say that your mother has turned into one such monster, inside oh, and out. Shit. And I'm afraid the disease that affects her mind has taken a hold of me as well. It sickens me to think what we've put you through. There's no excuse. I only ask that you, though I know I have not the right to do so, to try and forgive us. I despise what your mother has become, but I love and hate pity her at the same time. Rose, I wish I could see you blossom into a strong, beautiful woman. Thorn, Walter, I wish I could be there for you, but I can't. This is the only way. Goodbye. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. My theory was correct. <laughs> okay, all right, jackass. I was definitely <laughs> out. <laughs> I would like to perform ceremony on all the dead bodies present. <laughs> There's only one. Oh, okay. Just the cast there. Okay. I pray for the souls of their family. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. And I would like to see if his body could be made into good soup. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know about that one. Uh, waffle good is probably... <laughs> uh, on the nightstand, you do see a jewelry box. You guys would have noticed. I would box. like to open up the jewelry box to see what's inside. Okay. Uh, you see a another letter. Uh, this one looks to be unfinished. Um... Okay. Inside the Julius box, you see. Does anybody a, want to read this? Inside the Julius box, you see a lot of gold uh, and valuable trinkets. Uh, I can just post it in the channel, but of that, you see uh, a nice gold filigree worth seventy-five GP, three golden rings, twenty-five GP each, and a thin platinum necklace with a topaz pendant. Worth 750 GP. Bro, they got platinum back now? Hey, okay, yo. god dang. Uh, I can read off the other letter if you desire. Yes, please. I handed this <laughs> yes, to read it fluently. <laughs> uh, yeah, you pass it off to the nearest literate person. Um, it goes. This appears to be, uh, it's rather feminine writing. Um, it says... Bro, what? <laughs> My dear Mrs. Petrovana, your advice on dealing with the unwanted fiend in my home is quite good. Advice indeed. Tonight's ceremony will proceed as planned when the moon is at its highest peak. Without, of course, the attendance of Mr. Durst. I must agree with you that with the assistance of such a remarkably innocent subject... The results of our proceedings may be far improved. Innocent, of course, is not quite the term I would use. If nothing else, I am relieved that I shall soon no longer have to suffer the harlot's insufferable presence each time we pass through her quarters to meet our meeting space. We shall be rid of her, indeed. My thanks, Mrs. Elizabeth Durst. Hmm. Ooh. So I, here. This place is haunted by a devil then? A demon perhaps? A demon? Well, you know. I know a guy. Isn't this your specialty? Oh, well, would you believe it? <laughs> Let me tell you. To you. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, do you have an experience with demons and devils? Oh, of course. I'm a, I'm a priest. I'm a paladin. Oh. I see. Wars and in order to uh, better serve my case, I've studied some black magic to make sure I can, like, 
tell people it's not actually black magic, you know, like my soup. Oh yeah, too. Yeah, you studied this stuff in your you soup. Know. Okay, um, I'm going to investigate for demonic things. Okay. Yeah, you uh, use your dark presence detector thing. <laughs> my um, my checker, okay. <laughs> uh, you. Yeah. You sense no life coming out of the ghast uh, in front of you. Poggies. But you do feel sent, feel like the overwhelming sense of like dread coming from the building as a whole. Yeah, okay, so, all right. Mm. Um, I got nothing, boys. <laughs> I have, uh... uh... I have detect magic. I don't even know if that would do anything, but you cast it as a ritual right now. Could I not do like a wisdom check? Like a, you know, I feel like I should be knowledgeable in these things. In what exactly? In like, you know, demonic things. I feel like I've purified things before. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, with just your experience here, you know this building is well beyond cursed. Okay. <laughs> And it appears that the denizens here have succumbed yeah. to some kind of curse. I am going to begin, I'm going to go over to this bathtub area over here. And I'm going to begin creating as much holy water as I possibly can and just throwing it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll just be doing that while everyone does everything else. Just <laughs> imagine me with a mop going around with a bucket of holy water, just, just mopping up the place <laughs> and trying to purify see, it as much as possible. <laughs> um, yeah, you you crank the knob, but the spigot just kind of like makes like a rattling noise. Uh, nothing comes out. I would like to do a uh, um, <laughs> engineering check or what the fuck? Would... Hey, Mister, Mister. Hey, I'll, I'll come take a look. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He's smart. He's in robotics. He can fix this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Yeah, would, you, would you like to make a plumbing? Check? <laughs> yeah, a plumbing yeah. check, please. Thank you. Uh... That would be some kind of intelligence check. I think it's just straight intelligence. I don't really see anything else. Alright. Alright, what you got for me? Fuck Ooh, yeah. yeah! This seems like well beyond uh, yeah. one man's job. Um, uh, I you, proceed you to try it. to help him in any way. I, I provide no, no. the help. I don't believe you're proficient in plumbing. Something's wrong all the way down at the well. Dang. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, investigate you... if there's any water around here. I can begin purifying. Um, yeah, I see a, a luck check. What the hell do I roll luck? This like a straight d20. Oh, okay. Slash r d20. Oh, let's go. Yeah. You see that there's some like water pooled up in a bucket in the corner. Let's go. All right, I purify the bucket of water and begin wiping down. The area closest to the dead guy. <laughs> yeah, you like mop the room. Um, <laughs> All right, it's like the the wood kind of lets out a little sizzle as you do so. Pog. I'd like to say that you know, while Harrison's blessing the water, by the time he turns around, I've just kind of mysteriously uh, disappeared. <laughs> And y'all, y'all have a good night. <laughs> All right, All good right. night. See you, Adam. Oh, oh, yeah. Adam Sleep vaporizes. Well, Mr. East Coast man. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it was like midnight. Disappears in a good game. golden cloud. Good game. Are we familiar <laughs> with this? Is this new? This is something uh, that happens. You've I seen it a couple times before. It's it's why different. Why I, I sometimes grumble and complain. <laughs> He just appears out of nowhere to help with engineering problems, don't worry. It happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was just zooming in for a little while. Just just part of the job. I just work here. <laughs> Alright. Um... 
Maybe if we break the pipes enough, water will come out. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Do you want me oh. to break the pipes? No. Adam was my eyes. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'd share a screen, but uh. What, you don't want to? Are you sure? I, I don't think I can. Oh. I cannot because I'm streaming. You might be able to look at my stream, maybe. <laughs> you give me that extra viewer, but it's going to be like five seconds behind. <laughs> right. I see there's a ladder up here. Can I just start climbing up this ladder? Wait, where are you? Oh, up here in the room. The second floor? Here. This floor, yeah. Why are you down here? That was the uh, library that you already discovered. Uh, okay. The yeah, library? library. Right yeah, you should go up to the third floor. I'm going to lose board. Alright. Up to Dares Brazil. I love Dark Souls Darkest. 3. I hate the Abyss Washers. <laughs> Bro, that boss is great. <laughs> it's it's yeah, a it's the, a, uh, it's a great the boss. Watcher. It's a great boss, but I hate it at the same time. <laughs> All my homies love that third abyss watcher. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's, it's so fun and cool <laughs> and sick, and you have to dodge every oh you shit. <laughs> All right, I'd like to open up this door. Then go in here, go yep. to this what I assume is a courtyard. You see a balcony overlooking. Okay. You're you're. Uh, on the third floor right now mm -hmm. and you're able to look out over this like backyard quite harsh, indeed. it's quite overgrown the backyard is overgrown mm -hmm. not well kept can i do a perception check for anything suspicious in the backyard <laughs> you can <laughs> You can't really see anything beyond the fog cloud that's surrounding the house. So there's still that big ass fog cloud. Oh yeah. I don't know. I think I. It's all good with y'all. I think I might get off. I'm kind of feeling useless without my computer. Uh, working. Have you tried opening it again? I'll try one more time. Okay. I'm assuming I don't see anything new on a 19. Just a bunch of plants and overgrown stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not much to see out there. Okay. Except for the fog. You, you take like a well surveil uh, and see just like plants, uh, mm -hmm. the fog encroaching. Mm -hmm. uh, is this a piano over here? What is this? Hmm? What is this? Oh, over the here? fireplace? A fireplace, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What rooms haven't we been to yet? This one over here. Right, Which yeah. one? I can pull her. Yeah. The one down here? Yeah, oh, the one up there? Explore all the rooms. Like north of you? We have not, you have not been in there. What, in this room? With the bedroom? No, he's on the second floor. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But you also haven't been to that room. Hmm. So the room I'm in right now, we haven't been in yet? Actually, I'd like to look beneath these right. two rugs. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's like eight people doing things. Oh, Harrison, you, you pause for a second. Uh, you you opened that room, right? Yeah. Betty? Yeah. Again, which room? You you opened the north room there? Where? Uh, uh, There are people already in that room, right? Which one? The one here? Yeah. No. Wait, is that a separate room or is that... You're able to see their tokens, but they're on the third floor right now. Oh, because like the lighting is also working for the second floor, so I can like, yeah. see inside. Yeah, the token the sharing thing is uh, revealing some stuff. Uh, but there is a small bedroom in here. Hmm. I was talking about this rug right here. I just want to look under it. Oh, that one? Yeah, you can. I also want to look under this one. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, give me a perception check for or an investigation for looking under the rugs. Mm. If my time has taught me anything, they always hide important things under the rug. <laughs> it's in their nature. Devils and demons and such. Under the you rug. Find a, you find a key. Oh, yo. yo. God dang, yo. What yeah. did I tell you all? It's always under the rug. So predictable. So predictable, these <laughs> demons. These demons and devils. Men. Uh, torturers of men, bringers of chaos, and bringers pain. of chaos and pain. Yeah, very ornate, Some like say in the primordial times, <laughs> there were those who lived forever in agony, tortured by them. I do not envy them. <laughs> and he goes on for another yeah, like, for like minutes. another two hours, <laughs> like just in a monologue. Just like just... talking to himself while like looking at the key. You know? <laughs> uh, All right, make sure you guys right, drop those Twitch primes real quick if you're watching. <laughs> halfway into the uh, monologue. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't uh, understand what you're talking about after like the third word, so I just started moving away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does this key, like, was it, does it obviously go to any specific, like, lock that we've seen? Nothing you've seen so far. Okay. And I'll just, I'll put that as a secret tool for later. <laughs> mouse um, okay. But Harrison, yes. as you enter this room, oh god, nobody's <laughs> been in here yet. Uh, you step forward and you see uh, this appears to be a nursemaid suite. Oh, did you get or anything or no? Yeah. Um, in front of you is another large bed. Um, Surprised you're able to hit it that late. So, I'm gonna say you didn't oh, enter okay. that room yet. Thank you, <laughs> no worries. Uh, you step forward to your left, immediate left. You see a shattered mirror. A shattered mirror. Okay. Uh. Examining the shards, you see a figure. Oh God. Okay. Uh, I investigate. Uh, can you roll me an investigation? Yes. Like a puzzle game, you just gotta put the pieces together. <laughs> uh, investigation. What's up, Dean? Yeah, you. Yeah, you boys, I think I might get off. It, I this is not working. Ah, okay. uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'll just see. I don't know what I could do because it it, it um, was. Is anybody else able to? Uh... I can't stream and do it at the same time, unfortunately. Benny, would you be able to share screen? Might be able to share screen. Mm -hmm. Uh, probably. I'm gonna grab ketchup really quick. I'll be back. Or oh wait, oh god, no, I'm random in the middle of this. But I don't have. I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to like flip back to my uh, like character sheet and stuff. That's fine. All right, Coders, just want to look at the map. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll end off pretty soon here. Okay. Well, sounds good. I need to eat dinner. Almost there, almost there. Share. Oh. You got it. Oh, well, let me just share Google Chrome. Okay. How does it have to share the full? I'm going to share my full. Don't look! Don't look! Oh, oh my gosh! Babe. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's Elder true. Elder Scrolls Paladins. Oh my god! It's true. Oh I gosh. play Paladins. I can't believe <laughs> it's you. It's fun. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, you're on the second floor right now. Oh, there are two of Adam. Gosh. <laughs> uh, oh, excuse me. Not any longer. 
Uh, but yes, uh, Harrison, as you look into the shards, you look very closely. Um, first thing you notice is that these shards seem to be... It's as if the mirror fell towards the wall. Hmm, okay. Uh, the next thing you notice is this figure. It appears to be a maid. Interesting, all right. You turn back around, and you see... Oh, you see God, okay. Here. Um, oh, hell no. I would like to... She... Uh-huh. Uh, can I examine for evil intent? <laughs> uh, she turns to you. Uh, she looks a little confused. Hello. How you doing? My name's Saint Xavier. I'm here to investigate the area. Are you Are you okay? Just sent you in. I'm sorry. Wait, who is this woman? She's on the third floor. Oh, I see. Uh, who uh, sent? What did you say? Who the sent Durst. you? Or who sent did me? Did the Durst send you? Oh no, I'm sorry, not the Durst. But I, I'm here with some of the other people that live here. The Dursts are the only family that live here. Well. I couldn't. I didn't see anyone named Durst. Are you, are you okay? I'm quite all right. I must ask you to leave if you do not have the owner's permission to be here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Do, do I hear this happening? So is uh, she like? You can go up to the third floor. Can I investigate to see what like she is? Is she like a human or a ghost or whatever? She's. She appears to be like some kind of like human ghost. Yeah. Uh, can I ask, why are you, why are you here? Do you remember? Why, I'm, I'm the nursemaid. You're a nursemaid? Oh, and do you remember I'm... when you last worked? Or yeah, are you a nurse or are you a on? maid? Because yeah. I, I think it's been a while, ma'am, to be honest. What are you talking about? I so um Smenton hears this and he's like oh, I don't recognize that voice so he like walks upstairs <laughs> and as soon as he sees this translucent person he goes my god you're dead huh you're a ghost look at you god How dang it really bro yeah Dude. I was taking this all calm it was gonna explain it to her <laughs> slowly <laughs> <laughs> She on? turns to herself. Um, what? what are you talking about? Who are you people? Oh, I see. Confused. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, here? I'm gonna tell him to shut up, shut up, real quick. Uh, right. We're here to help you, ma'am. To be blatantly honest, you, you're dead. I am, I am a priest. I know how to let people pass on. It seems like you're having trouble passing on here. Would you like me to help you? Um. She Can I roll persuasion? To, like, be hearing you. Oh. Uh, as she, like, turns around the room. No, no. Uh, she then yells out, Alter! As she phases through the uh, oh my gosh, door, kind of, like, passing through you. Interesting. Okay. Is that a good place to pause? <laughs> uh, you're about to find something. Oh, okay. All right, I can I perception through the door. You can listen in, or I'll listen in through the door to see if I hear anything. You hear a lullaby. Okay, I oh. will slowly uh, open the door. A lullaby. Uh, she turns to you. Shh. I just put him to bed. Oh God! This is the kid. Oh. oh, this is the sweetheart. I say slowly as I walk in. I prepare myself for what is probably not going to be great. Can I see him? I'm going to give you some backup. <laughs> um, I think you might need it. <laughs> she kind of holds it a little protectively. Oh, God. I don't remember you two. Who are you? Oh, we... We just talked to you, ma'am. You don't remember us? We literally just talked to you. Oh, I just got silly here. me. 
must have slipped my mind. That's all good. Are you are you okay? Oh, I'm quite all right. Okay, I'm uh, gonna. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh God, is there any way to do this peacefully? I don't have like a purification spell. She's not a dead body, <laughs> what are you, right? What are you so trying could... to do? I was Wait, trying to can purify you tell me what, what scrolls I had again? Your scrolls, uh, either in the uh, notes channel. Wait. You had protection of poison, bless, and spiritual weapon. Okay. So I'm not a spell good or evil. Mm hmm Sweet. How is the baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like to <laughs> investigate the, the baby. Oh, he's doing quite all right. Speaking of which, I'm going to take him to go see their brothers and sister. He then floats through you again. <laughs> uh, and you see her phase through this north wall as if there's nothing there. Okay. Give her soup. That's what she needs. That's a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, oh, that's how I a door there, is there? <laughs> I would like to investigate this room really quick and see if there's anything in here. Uh, you see an empty crib. Uh, let me see. But that appears to be it. Some okay. disturbed uh, blankets. All right. I guess let's leave the room uh, and figure out where she went. You saw her go through this. Okay, I'll look behind the mirror then. Um, you remember this is the wall where you saw the shattered glass or shattered uh, mirror that like oh, okay. looked like it was going towards the wall. So after for the shattered mirror, is there any way you can put the pieces back together? I mean, you could try, but um, Xavier, after like a second of looking, you see a stone out of place. I put it back in place. <laughs> yeah, you press, you press it, press it in, and a door opens up. All right. <laughs> Wahoo! Hey guys, there's a door over here. Whoa! Let's go in the door. Hidden doors. Hidden door. Oh, Devil there's more flowers in here. Hide to things. the attic. Secret tunnel. Oh, God. This looks spooky. All right. Who wants to go first? I will protect you. Thanks, my king. Oops. All right. I would like to listen to see if there's any noise coming from any doors. Um, yeah, do, do a quick perception. Uh, rolly. Beep. Pop. Tube. Bada bing, bada boom. 16. I'd also like to do perception if I could. 16, you don't hear much coming from any of the south rooms, uh, but in the north room, you hear what seems like children's laughter. Oh, God, okay. Yeah, not open. All right, kids. Uh, and looking at the, um... You, you would recognize this immediately. The lock mm -hmm. on this door has a very recognizable mm. pattern on it. Mm. Yeah, Smenton pulls out his key, and he looks at the key, then he looks at a lock, he looks back at the key. You know, the great people of Askokvinshoff <laughs> used to say that death was the it, key to the next life. Could you... Uh, the great I don't what? believe Is there's a key movie, yeah. to the next life. E goes on for another five minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as he's like slowly making his way to the door. <laughs> oh my god. Um, which that door is, is it? So do we have to it's the north door. door. Uh, this one? <laughs> I, 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 I hover around the lock and I, I pause for a second. I'm in like the middle of my speech and he says, I best do something before I end up killing us all. And I'm going like to spend to um, 
I'm going to spend 10 minutes casting Detect Magic as a ritual. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, during the whole 10 minutes, I am going on some <laughs> random <laughs> tangent. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're, you're blabbing around. Your Detect Magic goes off. Um, you do sense... Um, and like specifically, I'm looking like like generally more specifically. I want to know about like the door and the lock. You know, the door and the lock. Nothing, nothing from the door. Nothing from the lock. Uh huh. Anything uh, from the room beyond or whatever's beyond. But from the room within, you think you sense it's a little odd. It feels like someone's casting spells in there. Hmm. In. Now, friends, I don't want to say there's something in there that may want to hurt us, but there is something in there that may want to hurt us. I suggest we prepare for the worst. <laughs> um, we, we should probably all, like, ready actions just in case. Mm -hmm. um, which actually, by the way, I'm going to cast a mage armor. Well, no, I'm not going to cast mage armor. I only have three slots. Dang, level two sucks. You may be leveling up soon, mayhaps. Uh, mayhaps? Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to prepare the interception thing. Okay. Uh, that's a reaction, so you don't have to prepare oh, that. Never mind. Yeah, I'm, I can. I'm probably just going to prepare a dodge action. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to prepare Gust, so if anything tries to approach us, I'm going to, like, push it away. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and with that, with us all, like, prepared at the door, I slowly insert the key, monologuing about something or other, <laughs> and I slowly twist the latch, and I open the door. Yeah, you hear a series of tumblers, like, uh -huh. fall into place uh, as the door unlocks. Oh, spooky. Please stand back. Stand I'd like to back. step Let back. Professional um, and then I'd uh, I'd like to step back as far as possible, and then I'd like to use gust to push open the door. Yeah, you slam the door open. Uh, a bit of like oh, excess Jesus. wind blows in, and you see a children's room. Oh, oh boy! Nothing, oh. nothing immediately is like present. But you do see a dollhouse to the left, uh, a chest to the right, and two bodies. Two small skeletons in the center. Oh, good. Just dead children. Yeah, they just can't. It's no worries. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank they, goodness. Yeah, I thought we lost uh, some real citizens for a second. They don't pay taxes, so honestly, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. uh, specifically, this room contains a bricked up window uh, flanked by two dusty wood framed beds sized for children. Most of the room is a toy chest uh, with windmills painted on the side and a dull house. It looks oddly familiar. Um, these furnishings are draped in cobwebs. Uh, lying in the middle of the floor are two small skeletons which are in tattered clothing. I'd like to inspect the skeletons and like pick up one of the skulls and kind of like twirl it around and look at it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do so. Uh, is there any, like, I'm looking for, like, if there's an indication for, like, how they died, maybe, you know? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, roll me a medicine or, uh, investigation check. He spins his, in their skull on his finger like a basketball. Yeah, like a basketball. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's definitely not being, like, gentle. He just grabbed he it and popped it off the body and was, like, twirling it around. Uh, 13. Uh, there are no visible like outside marks mm. on these skeletons there's no like slashing mm. or n nothing that yeah would... does not appear to be any physical damage to these bones and he just drops the head <laughs> so i put the head back politely and <laughs> begin preparing <laughs> ceremonial <laughs> burying of the dead or whatever to prevent them from turning um, dead Yeah, uh, you do that, and a ghost appears in front of you, right next to the oh, left side. Oh bed. boy, okay. Right. 
Please stop playing with my brother's skull. Oh! He's Boy. dead. I know. I'm sorry. I know. My my coworker is not the most sensitive when people are dead. You know, uh, you know he doesn't... Oh. Just don't let him touch my toys. I won't let him. I won't let him. Fascinating. Life beyond death. <laughs> Tell me, how did you become ghosts? <laughs> we died. No shit. Sure. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, kids. <laughs> What are you doing here? Uh, we were invested. Mother, help. mother didn't send you, did she? No. Oh, good. Did your mother kill you? No. Not are you exactly. afraid of your mother? Uh, she doesn't respond. God, I'm trying to figure out what my icon reminds me of. Like that stupid pose with like the fingers. Like... <laughs> it's Transylvania, yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. Say again? That's like the Steve Jobs. Oh, that oh, is Steve like the Jobs. Oh. Yeah, he's got the collar that's, and everything. That's literally what. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> do you know where your mother is? I. I don't remember. I think I remember. <gasps> She like thanks for a moment. Um the basement. She took Walter. Please, you have to help them. The monster's going to get him. What, what monster? monster? Devils? Demons? I don't know. Mommy what wouldn't let us like? Mommy doesn't let us out of this room. We aren't allowed to see what goes on. Have you seen the monster? Mm. I mean, they just said they can't, they don't ever leave. So, how do you know there's a monster? We hear it. It's so loud. Benny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I look back it. at the screen for a second. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Got a like black shirt. Yeah. Goatee and buzz hair. Oh my god. Uh, Is there a quick way to the basement? <laughs> so. yes. How do we get to the basement, dead ones? Um, yeah. She kind of floats over. We're, we're not allowed to leave, but I can show you. She floats over to the dollhouse in the bottom left. Um, and gestures towards a room in the attic. There. Uh, she then like presses a little like uh, indentation in one of the walls. You hear in another room another sliding wall open up. Well, we go. I go try to find that that new open door. Tell me, is death painful? How is the afterlife? I like pull him by his collar away from, <laughs> the, away from the children, and I, I I tell them get some rest. I ask them if they would I'm like sure burial rites. Scared. That's, that's um. So they can move you, on peacefully. You, you would know this. Um. Ghosts tend to linger if they're not properly buried. Yeah. Or if they have unfinished business. Mm. Um, you do see two skeletons in the middle of the room. I don't think that's very proper. Okay, so I would like to properly bury them. <laughs> I do think you collect their bones? I collect their bones in a bag and say... Dude, why do you have so many... Is this how the soup gets good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but good bones make good sauce. Good stuff. When I soup turn the bones of these <laughs> children into soup. No, don't worry. I'm gonna give them proper burial. But I'm like, all right, I'm gonna collect your bones, guys, and give you a proper burial outside. Because uh, frankly, I don't feel like you want to be trapped here in the <laughs> afterlife, too. That doesn't seem very fun. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Please. Save Walter. 
I got you, bro. No, no worries. Does he like soup? Do what we can, your brother. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I, I guess that's what a baby right. likes. Just mush. A, a baby? Oh, yeah, mush. Don't worry, bro. I got you. Mushy soup. Mushy soup. Child soup. <laughs> um, yeah, you pick up their bones, um, and as you leave the room, they dissipate again. They seem to, like, go out of focus. Oh, you will bury you properly. You heard the sound coming from this room, the left. I'd like to open up the door and go inside. You do so. You see uh, a large trunk, and immediately to the top left is a uh, opening. Let's go! Hmm. All right, let's go. Hmm. Let's do it. 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 Yeah, the the room's uh, up here. Hmm. Let's go see, you can see the, the staircase. I think if you go into there, you should be able to elevate yourself. Uh, basement. Go. Mm -hmm. Basement. Welcome to the basement. Pog, I gotta move. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think that's where I'll leave it. For now, level three. Sick. Oh. Level three, baby. All right, give me that. Heck yeah, dog. Yeah, you so all descend weird. long spiraling staircase going down five floors or so. Sick. Before exiting out into some dugout tunnel. How do I with... level up again, or do I do it on the other one? Uh, so you can join the campaign again with your character. Oh, okay. Um, and then just choose your subclass, and then you can leave again. Uh, choose your subclass and spells. Thank you. All right. I'm hoping my computer gets gets shit together for next week. Yeah, I may have to reload. It was bugging out a bit when you lost your connection. Mm. It only it's only done that like it did that once before but we've had like full sessions since then it did it let like, one uh st patrick's day time mm, that's right okay and how do i add it back to this uh so click on the campaign link oh yeah uh and then add character and you should be able to add um xavier to the campaign oh yeah uh, ping link. Sweet. Okay, I think we're good. And then do you add your, uh, I didn't get a subclass. It just let me pick. Well, it should be the uh, you pick the uh, de oath, which is your subclass. Oh, okay, yeah, I picked the oath, so we're chilling. You picked the oath. Yep. There was only one. <laughs> what? No, no, no. There's definitely roguish one. archetype, right. baby. You, you, what? I don't. I don't think you joined the campaign again. Oh, what link did I click then? Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to join again, I guess. I don't know why, but it's only which, giving me one option. Which link again, Logan? Um it says you joined. Hold on. There should be a bunch of different oaths. There was only one option for me. No, there totally should be more. Hmm. Oh, one second. Alright boys, I'm gonna end a stream there. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to figure out the rest of his technical difficulties, but I'll be back again tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Sorry if I didn't like that, but yeah.
See you late, Cohen. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out my level tomorrow or something. Mm-hmm. Sometime before next Friday.